Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to your night of breakthrough. Glory to God. I am so excited tonight at what it is that the Spirit of God is going to do. I am going to be preaching a message I have never preached before and I have never heard before. So the same time I hear it, you're going to be hearing it because the Lord gave it to me about 30 minutes before I came on the live broadcast, actually about an hour. So I am excited tonight because I know that God is going to move in an unprecedented way, in an unparalleled way this evening. I believe that you are going to be liberated. I believe it's going to be a night of a crossover in the powerful name of Jesus. I believe the glory of the Lord is going to move uh, like we have never seen before. Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. God bless you. Welcome, Rachel. Welcome, uh, uh, welcome, Kelly. My goodness, as y'all jump on, can y'all just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? I sense in my spirit that some of you are going to be talking about this night uh, years to come, you're going to be saying this is the night where everything shifts in. This is the night where everything changed. This is the night where God released my miracle. This is the night where uh, I became fruitful. I became pregnant. Hallelujah. Naturally and spiritually. Glory to God. This is the night where my miracle occurred. This is the night that my breakthrough took place. Glory to God. So just begin to talk to the Lord about what you want to encounter tonight. And I want you to go ahead and begin to share this broadcast. Good evening. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you can just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I believe it's going to be a night like no other. God bless you, Nicole. I love you. I believe it's going to be a strategic night. So as you begin right now, let's just begin to welcome the presence of God. Hallelujah. This is the night. Yes, Octavia, it is. Hello, Gislein. Bonjour. I love you so much. Let's just begin to welcome the presence of God. The word of the Lord said that in the book of Acts, in chapter 2, that they were all together in one place on the day of Pentecost, and suddenly there was a sound, a sound like a, the roar of a rushing mighty wind. So tonight I want you to begin to just call out for the sound, call out for the sound of breakthrough. I remember an encounter that I had that actually birthed these uh, United Breakthrough events. I was standing in my kitchen one day, and I heard a loud sound like boom! up on top of me and I thought somebody had broken into my home and immediately I realized that I was in a spiritual encounter and the Lord began to say to me the Lord said he said breakthrough has a sound and the sound that you heard is the sound of the arrival of your mega breakthrough so tonight I want you to begin to share this broadcast as you jump on share it to all the groups share it to all the pages. I'm not leading this broadcast tonight. The power of God is leading. I've been up since 4.30 a.m. I prayed till about 12 noon. And so I know, I told God, I said, I don't want what Agnes can give tonight, God, because God, your people are needing answers. Your people are needing something that I don't know how to give to them, God. But I know that if I call upon you, I know that if I host your glory, I know that when you come, oh God, you will move in an unprecedented and in a parallel way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's just begin to welcome the presence of the living God as we jump on this broadcast tonight. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Manda You are Almighty God. Is anybody hungry for a fresh encounter tonight? Is anybody hungry for a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit? Is anybody thirsty tonight for a mighty move of God? Is anybody longing tonight for the power of God to fall? Is anybody longing tonight for the glory of the Lord to fill their lives? Is anybody thirsty tonight for revival? Holy Ghost, you are welcome. Holy Ghost, you are welcome. Holy Ghost, you are welcome. 
I welcome the wind. Manda rebek sokataya. I welcome the wind. Manda rabat shikarabaksata. I welcome the rushing mighty wind. I welcome the power of God. I welcome the glory of God. Ekari baksonda rabaksandre bakia rabaksata. Indra bakshoko rabaksandre rebokore basa. Rendre baki la mandere de makara basia. Indre baki boshaka. Holy Spirit, I ask you tonight to come and mark us. Holy Spirit, I ask you tonight to come and do what I can't do. God, our generation needs you. God, my generation needs you. God, I need you. God, we need you in a level that we have never encountered before. God, we need, I feel it in my bones that he's about to move. God, we need your presence like we never had before. God, we need your glory in a way that we have never encountered before. And so, Holy Spirit, we ask you to come. Holy Spirit, we ask you to come. Come and fill us, God. Come and fill us, God. Come and rest here, God. Come and rest here, God. Nondri Shakai Kapandre Beki. Cheryl, I hear the Lord say you're gonna begin to feel a burning in your hand. Cheryl, I hear the spirit of the Lord say that tonight for you is a night of a commissioning. La Baronde Lebres Kataya Labatsanda. If you are a part of my Breakthrough Coaching family, I want you to lift up your hands right now. I'm going to minister to everybody, but there is a level of glory that is resting. And I hear the Lord just say to speak a word over you all as we begin the broadcast tonight. If you are a part of my Breakthrough Coaching family, I want you to lift up your hands tonight. I see like a golden oil resting upon your hands it's an anointing of wealth it's an anointing of creativity it's an anointing of innovation Rekapai kapa, hapapai kapriya kapae kakaya. Rendre kapras kapa, kapras kapa, kapriya kapai kapapari katandre kaski alabasa gadaha. Andre zagini mandos ketaria kataya. If you are a part of my breakthrough coaching family, I want you to stand up right now, wherever you are. And I want you to take a step forward. And I hear the Lord say, tonight is the night that everything that has held back your breakthrough breaks. Bariba kakapalu kasi. Akandre kakskontre bakaka. Brekeke prekos kati arabasandra bakaya. Andruska. Zalakrunge. Engranonze. Zenokua hatu jai. Hando jai. Andria jai. Andre jai karabaksata. Now for everybody watching tonight, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Ramba baraba shakaribo sota leba sokorobo shindere debo soto. I heard the scripture when I was beginning to prepare for the broadcast. I'm shaking right now. Can you share this broadcast for me about five times? 
and tap back share. When I begin to the the breba satan today, when I began to pray, I've been up since 4:30 a.m. I've been praying for about eight hours before the presence of God. Rababai kapai, gababai kapriya sakae kapaya. So I begin to translate this atmosphere right now into an atmosphere of miracles, into an atmosphere of signs and wonders. I hear the roar. I hear the thunderings. I hear the lightnings. I hear the light of the tribe of Judah. I need my warriors to begin to pray. If you are a warrior right now, I want you to begin to pray. There is a birthing taking place in the spirit right now. Destinies are being unlocked. Promises that have died has been unlocked. Our opposition is breaking. It's 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 breaking. Brongodo, Brongada, Brongadreka, Zogo, Talaba, Shakari, the Bokota, Prophet As we begin the broadcast tonight, that wherever the enemy has tried to waylay you, wherever the enemy has tried to sidetrack you, wherever the enemy has tried to slow you down, wherever the enemy has tried to delay you, Apropurubo Sukha, Bapopurubo Shika, Bapopurubo Sukho, the prevailing power of prophecy. I release prophecy as an arrow tonight. I release a prophecy like the sword of the Lord tonight. Rabba Shaka de Basandrebe Boboja 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 Bobo. Come on, I need uh, my warriors to pray. We're breaking past the barrier tonight. I heard the spirit of God say when I was getting ready for the broadcast. I heard the spirit. Somebody said, my hands are gold. Thank you, Jesus. I heard the spirit of the Lord say when we were getting ready for the broadcast. I heard him say. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken off your shoulders and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Tonight I declare that the power of God is going into the root of your bloodline. Animan durush kataye parakota kripas konta krepas kaye kapaye kapaya. To destroy every yoke. To destroy every force. To destroy every stronghold. To destroy every opposition. That has hindered the manifestation. Of your breakthrough. Tonight everybody type out as we begin. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. He rabak sanda rabak saya. Holy Spirit, come. La bandera rabak here rabak sata. There's an anointing of deliverance tonight. Tonight, strongholds are breaking. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Jaga brongeles kataye. Pronda libris kataya la mandrosh kipa. Rekapunda ribakai. Kapunda ribakia la baksandre bash kataya la bando. In the name of Jesus. Everybody just type out all capital letters Jesus. And put some exclamation marks. Call on the name of Jesus. Call on the power of Jesus. Call on the blood of Jesus. And I believe that tonight the strongholds and the opposition that have held you back and held you bound and opposed you shall break by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. Somebody please share this broadcast. As you jump on tonight, I prophesy after the wind of the Spirit of God. Rabba Shikrenta Labaksia Labaksata. Crystal Brazel, I'm hearing this word for you that there's literally a spirit of insanity that the enemy has tried to launch out against you. Reba Santa Lebanto Rushka Taye Negrushkia Panto Rika Pasakaya. I literally see these arrows from the pit of hell, and on these arrows is written the word insanity. And I see these boulders from heaven being released into the enemy's camp. And as they are being released, I see them like divine bombs. Maroka Daya 
Yangu, Ankau, Karika, Tom, Brekesia, Logrushka, Uka, 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 I hear the Spirit of God say, Daughter, tonight I arise and I fight for you and I silence the voices. And I, even right now, I break the hex. I break the hex. I see literally a hex that was letting them out. I literally see this pot in the Spirit. It's a pot. It's a seething pot of witchcraft. That it's a it's a magic potion, and I see curses that were spoken into that potion against your destiny. And right now we go into the spirit realm by the name of Jesus, by the power of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Borushka, 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 Zayarabanda, Rabaya, Rabanda, Rabaya. I I I ban. I disallow that curse from operating anymore in your life in the name of Jesus. You're going to begin to feel the power of God moving through your body right now, Crystal. You're going to feel like something is leaving you. You're going to feel like something is leaving you. You're going to feel like something is you. Ukrishka akungris kataye preskante lebasa. There is a heavy anointing of deliverance in the room tonight. Gezegunza, gezegunza. Can you share this broadcast as you jump on? Gezegungis kataye lebasa. Palm. I'm seeing this tonight. I'm here. I'm seeing uh, uh, your umbilical cord in the realm of the spirit, and I don't know the circumstances surrounding your birth but i'm seeing somebody literally speaking over your umbilical cord and releasing curses and they call it time release curses so that person has spoken a word that at a certain time in your life a certain tragedy is going to occur but tonight i go into your past by the power of the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, by the power of the crucified one who rose from the dead. Thank you, Ruva. And I release Ariba Kambrege, Ariba Kambagia, Ariba Kokongegia Kataya. Pearl, do you know that's why sometimes you, 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 you've seen some breakthrough, but you will get to a certain level and I think you can't break past it. Tonight it breaks. Tonight, can somebody share this broadcast right now? Tonight it breaks. 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 We are ascending into breakthrough. Everybody right now, if you can stand up, and I want you to type this out. I want you to stand up and type this out. Tonight, I shall cross over into breakthrough. And I want you to literally stand up and move, take a step forward. Tonight, I shall cross over into breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Ha, Rambaba. I want to wait for everybody to share this broadcast. The power of God is moving so strong. So every single person watching, I always tell people, sometimes you come here like, man, this is so good. And you are enjoying it for yourself. But somebody on your page is suffering under the weight of curses. Somebody on your page needs to hear the word of the Lord. So I want everybody right now to share this broadcast about five times. I'm just going to wait because I'm about to get into the word right now. I'm about to preach a message I've never preached before. Janda Rabasaye Lebrosh Kataya. I want everybody right now to share it. When you sow breakthrough, you reap breakthrough. And a very easy way to sow breakthrough tonight is to share the broadcast. I see where 42 of you have shared it. If every single person watching right now can share this broadcast and type out shared, glory to God. I want you to share it about five times. Let's break this algorithm barrier. There are too many <clears throat> in the body of Christ that are suffering as a result of the curse. So I want to see who all right now is partnering with me to share this word. I'm going to wait because, because, um, because I, I, I have a powerful word I want to release. 
It's a word I've never ever shared before. It's a word I've never ever heard before. The Lord gave it to me an hour before the bride. I've been on my face before the Lord since 4.30 a.m. this morning. And the Lord gave me this word. Yes, thank you, Pearl, for sharing it again. I feel like, Carrie Emery, you're going to begin to feel like a fire in your belly. And I hear the Spirit of God say, there's an anointing to preach the word of God that is on the inside of your mouth. And I hear the Lord say, <laughs> quit running. That's just what I heard. Quit running. Ah, rainbow shot. There is strong administration on your life, but you got to preach on you. You got a word that the generations got to hear. So I see you getting on and doing those Facebook lives. I see you in women conferences. I see you in front of millions of women, Carrie Emery. And I see you preaching the word. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So right now, I want you to type out one more time. Tonight, I shall cross over into mega breakthrough. And I want you to just stand up one more time if you can and literally take a step forward and just type out. Tonight, I am crossing over. Good to see Marianne. I'm crossing over into breakthrough. Galatians chapter 3 in verse 13. Thank you all for sharing. Galatians chapter 3 in verse 13. It says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Carrie, there is a revelatory realm that is going to open up to you. God loves you so much. Carrie, I hear the Lord say you are a friend of God. And so there is a, there are realms of heavenly. You are a prophet that is called, really you're actually an apostle. But you're called to sit in the realms of God. You're called to sit in the council of God. And there are And Carrie, there, there are secrets. Thank you, uh, Prophet Jennifer. There are secrets that the Lord has to fire on my hand right now. There are secrets that God has not, that are going, are going to take place in 20 years that the Lord is going to begin to unpack and release to you carry in the mighty name of Jesus and I see you like a closed book and I hear the Lord say tonight I'm opening up that book and it's the book of your destiny because I hear the Lord say carry Emery there are millions of souls on the inside of your belly. I see you crossing through nations. I see you doing crusades and meetings to cross nations. And people have told you, you are a female, you can't do this. You are a woman, you can't do that. You are a woman, so this is your role. But I come against tonight the strongholds in your mind that have hindered you from fully stepping into all that God has called you to become. I declare that the strongholds will break. The strongholds of who? Me. I command the strongholds to break by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. You are a mover and a shaker in the realm of the spirit and you will arise and birth you will arise and build you will arise and bring forth because this is the hour see of the spirit of god can you share this broadcast for me as you jump on galatians galatians 3 in verse 13 it says that christ has redeemed us from the curse becoming a curse for us for it is written Cursed is everyone that hangeth upon a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us. There's a strong prophetic anointing in the room tonight. I want you to type out all capital letters tonight. The curse is breaking. The curse is breaking. The barrier is breaking. The curse is breaking. The barrier is breaking. The curse is breaking. The barrier is breaking. The is breaking. I want you to type out again tonight. If there's anybody watching who means business tonight, hallelujah. Wow. Jennifer is feeling getting healed already thank you lord 100 percent in jesus name jennifer tonight you're going to step into the new in the name of jesus you're going to step out of the old and the lord is even going to give you the desires of your heart the lord is going to give you the youth of our generation the lord is going to give you the young adults of our generation in the name of jesus somebody type out tonight the curse is breaking the curse is breaking i pronounce and proclaim and prophesy that the barrier breaks tonight Tonight, in the name of Jesus. I want you to type out all capital letters. Tonight, I possess my promise by force. Tonight, I possess my promise by force. Tonight, I put, do I have any warriors in the room? Tonight, I possess my promise by force. Matthew chapter 11 verse 2 says from the beginning of time until now, the kingdom, everybody welcome. If I didn't call your name, I don't know if you recognize the seriousness in the room. 
I've not really greeted a lot of people, but I see you and I love you. Please, I need to focus in on what God is doing right here. So if I don't call your name, I really do love you, okay? I bless you all jumping on. God bless you. I'm going to get right into the word because I feel the seriousness of what God wants to do in your life tonight. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 11 in verse 2. It says, from the beginning of time until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered a violent and the violent take it by force. Whoo, Jesus. I want you to type out all capital letters tonight. I take my promise by force. I hear the Spirit of God say that tonight there are many of you that there has been restlessness. There has been restlessness. Le grunda alaba, sandre baki alaba. And I hear the Lord say, the anointing of peace is coming upon you tonight. The anointing of shalom is coming upon you tonight. And there's going to be an end to the battles that have plagued you in the last season. The anointing of peace. Agai kapronde le askia. I see somebody in the spirit and you are worried and the Lord is saying, just open up your hands and receive my peace. Marianne, I hear the spirit of God say, Donna, you are my battle axe and my weapon of war. I see the peace of God resting upon you tonight. In the powerful name of Jesus. Bridget, you are the one I was waiting on your name. I hear the Lord say there's, there's, there is rest coming to you. Actually, that word is for Bridget and for Brig Bridget. There's a Bridget watching and a Bridget watching. Hallelujah. I thought Bridget was Bridget, but it's for both of you. And I'm seeing an anointing of peace. And I don't know if there's been a trouble in sleep. But I see the Lord giving you sweet sleep. I see the Lord giving you rest in the name of Jesus. In the book of Acts chapter 2, it says, <clears throat> On the day of Pentecost, Haley, I release peace over you in Jesus' name. In the book of Acts in chapter 2, it says, On the day of Pentecost, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there was a sound. The Lord said to me, and I said that at the beginning of this broadcast, that breakthrough has a sound. And I hear the sound of the arrival of your mega breakthrough. So tonight I want you to type out, even as we, as we begin, I want you to type out tonight, under the power of God, I receive my breakthrough suddenly. Tonight, under the power of God, I receive my breakthrough suddenly. Glory to God. The word of the Lord says in Psalm chapter 66 in verse 12. It said, oh, Rabbi Sia, your breakthrough coaching family, I'm trying to wait to prophecy explosion. But I'm seeing so many prophetic words over you all tonight. My God. Psalm chapter 66 in verse 12. It said, we went through fire and through water. But you, O oh Lord, has brought us into our wealthy place. Tonight I proclaim and prophesy and declare in the name of Jesus that you are crossing over into your wealthy place in the name of Jesus. Tonight I proclaim I pronounce and prophesy that the opposition and the fiery attacks that you have been through in this last season, I pronounce that they come to an end in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says that Israel was in a drought. And I, Elijah came and he said, I hear the roar of the abundance of rain. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I've come to proclaim and prophesy that the drought against your destiny comes to a 
on hand. I hear the roar of the abundance of rain in the mighty name of Jesus. Share this broadcast as you jump on. I want you to type out, I receive rainstorms of breakthrough. I receive the what I heard this morning was tsunami. I want you to type out this morning, I receive tsunamis of breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. I, had a, I heard the Spirit of God say, let's see you, Jojo. I heard the Spirit of God say, there is an anointing for wealth. I don't know if destiny Abihar is watching the broadcast this evening. But I had a vision, an open-eyed vision of Destiny Eberhardt as I was praying this week. And she was telling me, she's a part of my Breakthrough Coaching family. And she was telling me that she just received a lump sum of money. Good to see April. And I heard the Spirit of God say that tonight, that there are lump sums of monies that are going to be deposited in your bank account. If you, if you receive that, I want you to tap out. I receive lump sums of financial breakthrough. I literally declare, if you can stand up one more time and just take a step forward. And type out, I receive, I cross over into my wealthy plates. Terrence, I hear the Lord say, and y'all, I'm breakthrough coaching family. I'm going to prophesy over you all. We have a once a month, I prophesy over my breakthrough coaching family and our coaching group. We have that next week, but I'm hearing so many words for people tonight as well. Terrence, I hear the Lord say you think it will take four and five years, but I hear the Lord say tonight there is an anointing of speed. You're going to begin to feel like a shaking of your hands right now. I hear the Lord say, Terrence, there's an anointing of speed and acceleration that is coming upon you. And what you thought was going to take four and five and ten years is going to happen in four and five and ten minutes. I hear the Lord say there's an anointing of speed. I see streams that are coming out of you. I hear the Spirit of God saying new streams of wealth are coming forth from you in the name of Jesus. Who the power of God is heavy. Can you all just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? The power of God is heavy upon this broadcast tonight. I believe tonight that there is a generation. If you can share this broadcast as you jump on right now. I believe that there is a generation of women and men that are rising up that will no longer allow the enemy to bully you out of your point of destiny. The enemy will no longer bully you out of your point of destiny. Somebody needs to tap that out. Some of you, the enemy has talked you out of it. The enemy has negotiated you out of it. There's something so powerful. There's something so profound. There's something so pronounced in the realm of the spirit. There's something so great that God has put on inside of you. And I want you to type out. That's powerful, Terrence. I want you to type out right now. Yes, Kelly, that's right. I want you to type out, hallelujah, I will not be silenced anymore. I will not be silenced anymore. I will not be silenced anymore. Rabbi Shondorobo Shaya, share this broadcast as you jump on. God bless you and type out, share. I will not be silenced anymore. I will not be silent. I've been speaking to my breakthrough coaching family about the foundations of wealth. What is the origin of wealth? I want you to know that there is a method to money. Okay? There is a method to money. And I've been talking to my breakthrough coaching group about the method to wealth creation. There is a method. It doesn't happen by accident, by incidence, or by coincidence. There is a method to wealth creation. Glory to God. And so I want us to just, uh, I want to bless you with that tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to turn. This is actually the time that we do breakthrough coaching. But as a breakthrough coaching family, we sow this time into, into our media family once a month. We come and we sit with you and we share with you some of what we've been talking about in breakthrough coaching. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so I want you to get your Bible. Please get your Bible. Let's go into victory tonight. Hallelujah. My Bible is all ripped. That's how you know I read it every day. Glory to God. I actually read another one every day. But this is my study Bible. But I want you to get your Bible. Share this broadcast and get your Bible with me. We're going to access our breakthrough in the Word. I want somebody to type out.
this evening. I'm going to access my breakthrough in the world. I'm going to access my breakthrough in the world. Where is your breakthrough? It's in the world. Where's your brand new debt-free car? It's in the world. Where's your commercial property debt-free? It's in the world. Where is the success of your marriage? It's in the world. Where is your God-ordained husband? It's in the world. Where is your God-ordained wife? It's in the world. Where is your excellent health? It's in the world. Where is your job promotion? It's in the world. Where is your business growth? It's in the world. So tonight, the word of God is the most powerful for force on earth. The word of God is God. The word of God says in the book of John, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So tonight, yes, you are going to be blessed. I'll tell you in Jesus' name, tonight we're going to get into the word, and we're going to possess our breakthrough. Are you ready? I want you to type out, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat and grab your Bible. Turn with me to Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28. I want to tell you what God gave you in the Word. Then I want to tell you what the enemy tried to rob you of. Then I want to teach you how to take it back tonight in the name of Jesus. So let's run really quickly. Glory to God. We have quite a bit of ground to cover. Let's go first to Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28. If you are there, I want you to type out our capital letters. Amen. Share this broadcast as you jump on this evening. Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28. If you are there, say amen. That's right, Jojo. Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28. If you are there, type amen. We well, after the power of the Lord tonight. Ooh, we're in for some amazing breakthrough tonight. Genesis chapter 1. I've never preached this message before, but I've been on my face before the Lord since 4.30 a.m. And, and, and 3.30 p.m. my time. The Lord told me, go to Genesis chapter 1 and tell them about what I gave them. So Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28 says, God bless them. We can end the broadcast right now and be done. God bless them. Because in the blessing... Is the substance of everything you want in the black sin is the substance of what Jesus went to the cross and died for because what the Lord said Christ redeemed us from the curse thank you Jennifer becoming a curse for us for it is written cursed is every man that hang it upon a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us so in Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28 it says God bless them so I want you to type out tonight I'm blessed and if you can declare it and shout it out as loud as you can, I'm blessed. Release that into your atmosphere. Release that into your circumstance. Release that into your seeming impossibility. I'm blessed. Ha! Ah, that means the curse cannot work in your life. That means the curse tonight in operation concerning your destiny has to break because you're blessed God blessed them and said to them be fruitful I prophesy out over your body I prophesy out over your family I prophesy out over your children I prophesy out over your finances I prophesied it over your ministry. I prophesied it over your business. You are blessed. Be fruitful. Increase. Everybody just type out all capital letters. Increase in number. Fill the earth. Have dominion. I want you to type out all capital letters. I have dominion. I have dominion. I have dominion. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, because you have dominion, you should be succeeding in every area of your life. Are you with me tonight? Because you have dominion, you should be excelling in every area of your life. Rabba shakaraba sata. I don't know if Chris White is watching this broadcast right now. Lebo shikara ba sandre ba kia, la ba skonde le maxia la ba sata, ze karo bo shokara ba sandara ba saya, i kara ba sonduru lo bo sata lo bo sha, e ra ba sa, londro ba kia la ba sa, andra ba shikara ba sata, have dominion over the earth realm, 
So you should be, hey, Phil, it's good to see you. I love you. You should be excelling in every area of your life. You should be succeeding in every area of your life. God has already called us to have dominion. Hallelujah. God has already called us to have dominion. That means that we should be succeeding. I want everybody to tap by right now. I am, I am born to succeed. I am born to succeed. Hallelujah. Chris, can you reach out to my team, Efe? I can't see him on the broadcast. Glory to God. I'm going to need some links here in a little bit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to tap part right here. I am born to succeed. I am born to succeed. Glory to God. I am born to succeed. Thank you, Jesus. I am born to succeed. Glory to God. And so, God, when he created you, I'm going to do a little bit of teaching tonight because I want you to be able to take back what the enemy stole from you. So tonight, I want you to tap out. I am born to succeed. Glory to God. Tonight, hallelujah, we are going to wage war against every force that has hindered your success. Tonight, we're going to wage war against every force that has hindered your success. Tonight, we're going to wage war against every force that has hindered your success in the name of Jesus. Have you ever asked yourself why you were born? Have you ever asked yourself why God created you? Have you ever asked yourself what God placed you on the earth realm for? Ratunze brekushkia karaba sukrunda la baksha lendrush kapaye kandrush kataya la baksata. In the book of Esther, chapter four, in verse fourteen. Extra chapter 4, verse 14 says, Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. Manda rabat shaka rabat sata. Zondo robo sheke de rabat sata. Zeka rabat sata rabat shata. Zeke de rabat sanda rabat sata. Zondo robo shia rabat sata rabat Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say that there is a generation that is raising up that we're going to lift up our voice in prayer. We're going to learn the strategy to defeat the enemy. Glory to God. We're going to learn the strategy to defeat the enemy. And tonight, I believe that that strategy has been released to us. Even upon this broadcast, we're about to get into it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So when God created Adam, God said to Adam, he said, have dominion. Adam means man. Glory to God. When God created Adam, he said, have dominion. Glory to God. Rabat shokar rabat sandre bakaya rabat kata endor rabat shia rabat sekar rabat sandre baki rika tandre bakia rabat sata. But the enemy came, and due to the power of the curse, the enemy stole what the Lord had called you to have in the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. So karabat sandre rabat sata lekrondor rabat shekar rabat sata rabat sata. 
Roka sere bakuru baba baba sundo ndo bakoso. Ekara baksata na baba baksata na baksata. Ikara baksanda na baba sundre bakia na baksata. Lendra bakia na baksata. Tonight in the name of Jesus, everything that the enemy has stolen from you shall be released to you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so Genesis chapter 3, I want you to turn with me. So Genesis chapter 1, God gives man, he says, have dominion. I want you to type that one more time. All capital letters, I have dominion. I have dominion. Glory to God. And then Genesis in chapter 3, it says, Genesis chapter 3, it says, the serpent was crafty. The serpent was crafty. And what I heard the Spirit of God say, what I heard the Spirit of God say is that a lot of you, there is a serpentine spirit that has come to try to literally choke the life out of your destiny. So have you ever seen the movie? I don't even want to use the word. I don't like the word. I don't like the word, so I'm not going to use it. But there's a movie, there's a TV show that describes, there's a TV show that describes a, a people that they're actually walking, but they're not actually al fully alive. I don't want to use the word. But I hear the Spirit of God say that in the body of Christ, there are many daughters of God. Please share this broadcast as you jump on. There are many daughters of God. There are many sons of God that are in the body of Christ. That there is a serpentine spirit. Just like in the book of Genesis chapter 3. In the book of Genesis chapter 3, there is a serpentine spirit that came against them. I want you to listen to this. I've never ever preached on this before. I've never even heard it preached before. But I was on my face for several hours before the Lord today. And the Lord gave me this word. And so there was a serpentine spirit that came right after that. And, and the serpentine spirit said, he began to speak to the woman. The serpentine spirit began to speak to the woman. I hear the spirit of God say that for some of you, there is, there is something that has tried to choke every time you try to move forward in your destiny. There are forces that have tried to choke you. Your shed is broadcast is powerful. Something is breaking tonight. There, there are forces that literally have literally mangreska that have tried to squeeze the life off of you. Shamrika punkatia. So immediately the Lord released the word and gave dominion to men in the earth realm. Mandri bangasqua pataya. Immediately there was a serpent that came. But I want you to talk about tonight. The serpent will not prevail. The serpent will not prevail. The serpent will not prevail. And then this is what it said. He said the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, did God really say? I hear the spirit of the Lord said to not that you will, you will rise up and fight for what is rightfully yours. You will rise up and fight for what is rightfully yours. In the name of Jesus, some of you right now, because of the opposition you have encountered in this last season, the Lord, the Lord is the enemy has come to you and he's speaking very loudly and he's saying, "Did God really say?" But I've come to speak to you tonight in the name of Jesus. That my God is not a man; it is impossible for God to lie. Maroska prongedeska payeka pronda la baksata. In the name of Jesus, he said, did God really say, I come against every voice that has 
attract to accuse God to you because of the enormity of your position that you are faced in the last season. Rendos kaye kapandro likri paskuanti legabush kataye brondush kataya. Yes, everybody type out what Nicole just typed out. I will rise up and fight for what is rightfully mine and share this broadcast as we jump on. I will rise up and fight. For what is rightfully mine. He said the serpent said. Did God really say. You must not eat from any tree in the garden. Some of you. Because your promise has taken so long. In coming. The enemy has tried to twist it. The enemy has told you to settle. The enemy has told you that. No more. The enemy has told you that it's not going to happen. But I come to the clear and the creed tonight. That the serpentine spirit that has waged war against your destiny, that tonight it dies, tonight it breaks, tonight is destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we're preaching good tonight. Thank you, Lord. Share this broadcast as you jump on. And it said that that he said, uh, did, did, did God really say that? Did God really say that? Have y'all ever heard that recently? Did God really say you were gonna be married? Did God really say that your husband will serve God? Did God really say your children will serve God? Did God really say your finances will restore? Glory to God. And then it said, the woman said to the serpent, some of you need to stop talking to snakes. There are associations that you are forming that God did not ordain. The woman said to the serpent, the woman began to talk to a snake. And I hear the spirit of God say, some of you right now, you think you are talking to a Samarima Kambrebasi. You think you are talking to a destiny partner, but you are talking to a snake. You think God just brought the Boaz, but you are talking to a snake. It's not for everybody. I've never even given a word like that before. But for somebody watching, quit talking to a snake. Quit, quit telling everybody your secrets. Keep, quit telling everybody every move you make. Glory to God. And so the woman began to talk to the snake. And the woman said, Well, he said we may eat fruit from some of the trees, but we may not eat of this fruit. And this is what the enemy said. Are you with me? Verse 4. He said, You will not certainly die. The serpent said to the woman, For God knows that when you eat from this tree, your eyes will be open and you will be like God. Knowing good and evil. It was a spirit of deception. Some of you watching this broadcast right now. Because of the opposition that you have been through. There is a spirit of deception. You are not necessarily in sin. Maybe some of you have even dabbled in some stuff. But I'm talking about because of the pain of the past season. Now you are seeing your destiny through your pain. Come here can I talk to you Naomi. Naomi's husband had died. Naomi's two children had died. When Naomi returned to Bethlehem, Naomi said, Rabbi Shaka, Naomi said that they should call her Mara. They should call her bitter. Some people now, you have settled with your destiny. You don't want to speak anymore. Because come and talk to me, Paul and Silas. When Paul and Silas tried, Dorobo Shaka, Rabbi Sangre Baka, that's right, Chris. Somebody needs to share this broadcast. It's a good word. Quit talking the snakes. Glory to God. Mandre kashkua laba sataya. Ikron de litskataye. Rabrochki alaba sata. Lebrochketi ala mandroch kataya. Lebronde. The serpent began to deceive her. I hear the spirit of God say, across the body of Christ, the enemy has tried to release a spirit of deception that will cause people to settle for less than God has ordained them for. He will cause them to settle for less than they deserve. Will cause them to settle for the wrong spouse. Will cause them to settle for a dead end job. Will cause them to settle for less revenue. Will cause them to settle for, for their children uh, 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 to try to cause the people in the name of Jesus. I just switched out the Wi-Fi. All is well. Rababanda rabakshaya rabakaya. Lebrokondre bakia. Just jump right back in. Glory to God. Rababanda rabakshu rabakshaya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Y'all just pray over this broadcast right now. Y'all know the enemy don't like it because we're setting people free tonight. 
Please pray over this broadcast right now. Rapa bashaka la baksaka, lendroski la bakandre bakia, reka sunda la baksiara baksata, endroska i kapaya le basoka la baksaya, i karuska taya le bandora baksa. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now because tonight is a night of freedom. Tonight is a night of freedom. Roba bondoro do boshaya le bakaya, le bondoro do boshiara baksata. Tonight is a night of freedom. Glory to God. Rabat shokuru do bot shekete. Leko pande do bot soka. You all see and hear me, okay? Tonight is a night of freedom. Hallelujah. Banda rabat sa. Papanda rabat si alabat kandre bekiya. God is moving tonight upon this broadcast, and we are going to be set free by the power and the authority of Jesus' name and the forces that track to head. Or hinder your destiny. You're gonna break free tonight. I want you to type, but I break free tonight. I break free tonight. I break free tonight. I break free tonight. Rabba shundo robo shaka. Yeah, the presence of the Lord is heavy upon the broadcast. Lebro shkai lebakondre bakia. Lebrondo robo shikarabanda. Lebra kis kata lebandoch ketia. Libro skendre bakayeta koa. Can you all see and hear me? Okay. Lebrondi la bak. Sikara baksaya, ikron de rish katora bak kataya, lebrondari bak sindre bakia la basandre, o cruz kataya le bandori bak sakaya. In the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost right now. God is doing something. The serpent's hold is breaking off of your destiny. The serpent's hold is breaking off of our destinies tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reshkotaye rebando robotsiara baksata. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of you, we're just gonna keep plowing forward. I can't see the comment. I can see it on another device, but we're going to keep plowing. If my team can let me know they're still watching, glory to God, I need my team. Rabat shi karaban de robot soa, leko pondo robot saya, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The word of the Lord said, and then the, the snake, the, 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 the woman told the, the serpent lied and said, you will not certainly die. But the serpent said to the woman, For God knows that when you eat of this tree, you will be like God. How many of you all know that you are already gods? The scripture says that you are God. You were made in the image of God. Tonight I see an image restoration. Some of you as a result of trauma, as a result of the traumatic experiences that you have been through. The enemy has tried to distort your personality. Marush kataye karus kataya. But I declare and decree tonight in the power and the authority of Jesus name that the forces that have waged war, even against your very person personality. I declare in Jesus' mighty name that those forces are breaking in the name of Jesus. And he said this is what happened. Uh, this is what I've been teaching my breakthrough coaching group that this was the origin of the curse. Mazon kataya madobush kataya it said and he said and, and then the woman ate and she, y'all share this broadcast as you jump on. And she gave it to her husband. And he ate it as well. And he said the eyes of both of them were open. And they realized that they were naked. And what I hear the Spirit of God say is that some of you, as a result of even betrayal, that you have walked through in this past season, now you feel naked. Now you feel vulnerable. Now you feel open. Now you feel like Surobosham, Deremangris Kataya, even some that used to have your back. Marosh Kataya Le Bantora Basakaya Le Bronde Le Basa. You feel like they've spoken against your destiny. You feel like they've spoken against your purpose. You feel like they've spoken against your Prari Basaka. I pull out the arrows of every negative word that have been spoken against your destiny. One of my spiritual daughters had a dream. She shared it with me this morning. She said she had this dream, and in this dream, she saw these arrows on her back. 
and somebody was pulling out the arrows. Right now, some of you have been through very debilitating life circumstances, even spouses, even people you love. Some things have been said concerning your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare and I prophesy. I pull out the arrows. Come on, y'all. This broadcast is good. Can y'all share? Can we get it over 100 people watching right now? The body of Christ needs this word. The people of God need this word. I want to give everybody a moment to share this again. There's something taking place. Y'all, I'm not even in, fully in my notes. There's something taking place. I see people being set free. I literally hear a hissing sound in the spirit. And it's that serpentine force breaking right now. Please share this broadcast. Je krushka priya samang bronga ga engu ngri angwa kapush kataye prene sambrushka tia kremba skutaye kandoshki indrigis kapro deliskai pronda la bashanta yi karush kataya indresku priskantia krenoshkua la brish kataya la basanda Right now, I declare that the forces that have waged war against you, I see the arrows in the realm of the spirit. I declare that those forces are breaking right now. I'm hearing them break in the spirit. I'm hearing them break in the spirit. I'm hearing the chains break. In the spirit. I'm hearing the chains break in the spirit. Renda la basakara bababasata. Jesus. Everybody just type out all capital letters Jesus. I feel the power in the name of Jesus. Breaking the curse right now in the name of Jesus. And then this is what made the difference. Verse 8. It says, Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord. Tonight I hear the sound of your breakthrough. Some people think that the sound of the Lord was to punish them. The Lord just gave me a revelation right in this moment. The sound of the Lord was to redeem them. After they sinned, after they became, after the spirit of deception came in, the curse, they had already opened themselves up to the curse. But if you notice when the Lord came, he made, he made animal skin and he covered them. Tonight I hear the spirit of God say some of you have been exposed even as a result of generational curses and cycles. And tonight your redeemer comes to cover you. Tonight your redeemer comes to rebirth you. Tonight your redeemer comes to rebrand you. Tonight, your Redeemer comes to release, to reintroduce you to yourself. Way. 
But I hear the Lord say that he is going to expose the motives of fake friends. He is going to begin to cause you to leave Lot behind. I hear the Spirit of God say as you move into breakthrough tonight, he's going to need for you to separate from things that no longer serve you. He said that, so what happened was, Namraskata, Rebrondoska, that moment introduced the curse. But tonight, by the power of God, we're going to travel into time by the authority of the cross of Jesus, by the authority of the name of Jesus, and we're going to break the curse. Zakapandre baki alabasa. That's why the apostle read the leave lot behind. We're going to break the curse. If I'm looking down, sorry guys, the comments went up on this screen. So I'm looking at it on this screen. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And so the Lord cursed. The Lord placed a curse. He, he cursed the serpent. Tonight, we enforce that the serpentine spirit that has tried to come against your destiny is cursed. We declare, I want you to talk about tonight, the opposition against my destiny is crushed. Michelle, I see the hand of the Lord on your physical body touching you right now. I'm going to minister to you some more next week in Breakthrough Prophecy Explosion in our group. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Nerushkia pandele basa. Power of God is heavy upon the broadcast tonight. Reboshkonda la basia la baskata. Whoo! There is deliverance taking place. Yeah, some of you are going to begin to yawn. Some of you are going to begin to cough. Some of you are going to begin to sneeze. That some of you are just going to begin to cry. You're, some of you are going to begin to feel just loose, like something left you. I hear the Spirit of God say that literally you are getting untangled from the serpentine forces that have waged war against your destiny. The serpentine forces that have caused mysterious, tragic experiences to take place in your bloodline. Tonight I hear the Spirit of God say, not because of a woman, but because the power of God is in the room. Because the victorious one is in the room. In the name of Jesus, tonight I've come with a liberation proclamation. Tonight I've come with an emancipation proclamation that every curse that is in effect that came from your bloodline, that came from relationships, that came through, even through uh, 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 somebody got married, they went through a divorce and there were some words that were spoken through that. I declare and decree tonight that those curses are breaking in the name of Jesus. And he said, he said, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head. He will crush your head. I want you to tap out tonight. The serpent head is crushed. My condolences were praying for your family. I want you to tap out tonight. This is good. Can y'all share this broadcast tonight? We're almost done. The serpent head is crushed. The serpent head is crushed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to begin to go into some deep, deep time of prayer. But uh, before we do that, as a family, glory to God. There is a man named Abraham. As a family right now, we're going to worship the Lord with our giving. Once a month, as a family, we worship the Lord with our giving. We do it several times a month, but especially once a month here out in the media family, you're not a breakthrough. We worship the Lord with our giving. If my team can share that link and pin it. Glory to God. I always wondered what made the man Abraham. What made, we're going to begin to pray in a second, but I want us to, I want us to, to talk to God. The word of God says three times in the scriptures, it says, do not appear before me empty. So if we're talking now, God, Jesus already paid the price. But when we sow our seed, that's our way of coming into agreement with what God has already done. So tonight, if my team can share that link, I always wondered, how come Abraham 
just an ordinary man. Before he knew the Lord, he was an ordinary man. Glory to God. He was an ordinary man. And when he, when he got to know the Lord, when Abraham became a friend of God, why was he a friend of God? Why was it that even though there was a curse in operation, thank you, thank you for my, to my team. Even though there was a curse in operation, when Abraham came into the scene, the curse could not work on his life. Abraham, and I began to ask the Lord, I've been talking to my breakthrough coaching family about this. Why could the curse not work in Abraham's bloodline? Because there was a blessing that came upon Abraham. Why did the blessing come? It came as a result of his obedience. Abraham was obedient to even when Jesus, when God told him in the book of Genesis chapter 22 verse 16, you can turn there. Genesis chapter 22 verse 16, please turn there for a second. Genesis chapter 22 in verse 16, we're going to begin to pray here in a second. Genesis chapter 22, but we're going to worship the Lord first. Is he worthy of our worship? If he is, I want you to type it out tonight. God is worthy of our worship. Genesis chapter 22 in verse 16. Genesis chapter 22. I feel the presence of God so heavy right now. Genesis chapter 22 in verse 16. He said, the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time. Verse 15. He said, because... You have done this and have not withheld your son. I will surely bless you. Abraham got a promise that was 2,000 years ahead. Abraham got it 2,000 years early because he was willing to give sacrificially. Even give, y'all know that, y'all know how much you love your babies, right? You don't know if God all of a sudden said, give your baby, you know how that would be, right? But Abraham was willing to even give and as a result of that, the blessing came. I was telling my breakthrough coaching family, there are 10 billionaires on Forbes billionaires list. I don't know if you all know what that is. That's the richest men in the world. There are 0.02% Jews in the world. That's Abraham's children. Out of 0.02%, five of the 10 billionaires, richest men in the world are Jews. The blessing of Abraham, as a result, Abraham was not afraid to give. So tonight, I want us to ask Holy Spirit, I just pinned the link for us to give. Don't give anything yet. As a family, we want to worship the Lord. Now, I usually give into this offering as well. Now, I want you to ask the Lord something. Before you give tonight, please, you're not giving to a man. I always clarify, this is not an offering for me. I actually sow into this offering. When you sow tonight, I want you to tell the Lord. Now, you can't pay for the curse to be broken, but you can come into agreement with what God has done. When Abraham was willing to sow his son, the Lord said, now I know that you love me. I want you to ask the Lord tonight, what is the amount that you will have me to sow to demonstrate my worship to you? You know, I was, uh, I was gonna sow a thousand tonight. I usually like to sow a thousand on all our broadcasts, on our breakthrough broadcasts. We're doing a lot in missions. We have practically doubled our missions effort. We've been sending finances weekly to the Ukraine um, because of the devastation and the things going on there. <clears throat> We've been rescuing the homeless from the streets of Africa, rescuing little children. Um, when you sow tonight, what you sow is going to go into rescuing children from sex trafficking, helping them to have an education. So tonight, if this broadcast has blessed you and you're interested at all in God and in worshiping Him, don't leave until you ask him this question. Wherever you are, please do not be, do not be distracted. I was going to sow a thousand tonight. And when I was getting ready for the broadcast, the Lord said, I want to do something so powerful tonight. Would you agree that God is already, we haven't even started praying. He's already moved so powerfully. And this ground is good ground. Thank you, Kelly. Hallelujah. And so tonight, I was going to sow a thousand, but the Lord told me, I like prophetic numbers, Okay. Uh, a lot of us uh, that sow into our ministry, they've seen uh, testimonies in thousands and hundreds of thousands to t and millions to take place in their lives. Glory to God. I was going to sow a thousand and the Lord told me to sow 22, $2,222. $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, so that's going to be my seat tonight. 
So I want you to close your eyes and ask the Lord. Now, as a family, we love numbers. Glory to God. Uh, ask the Lord for a number. Glory to God. Some people like to do uh, 222. Hallelujah. For double, double, double. Some people like to do 111. Uh, Deuteronomy 111. Um, the Lord increased us a thousand times more and blessed us as he has promised. Um, you heard 22. That's powerful. Hallelujah. And so I want you to ask the Lord, but make sure it's something that cost you something. David's nation was under a siege. Some of you, you're, somebody said 555, hallelujah. That's what you hear. You can sow that amount. If you hear 555, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sow the biggest I ever have at one time. Um, I do the $1,000 seeds a few times a month. Um, now, I'm not sowing it to myself. I'm sowing it out. So immediately after this broadcast, I'm going to sow into about five different ministries. Uh, one of the ministries is a ministry that is uh, in Ukraine, boots on the ground. They're feeding uh, people. They're helping people get out of the country. They're helping people get food and things like that. We're going to sow into another ministry in Africa that are helping children that are being sexually trafficked. So I'm going to put my seed in the ground tonight immediately after this broadcast. So I want you to ask Holy Spirit right now, God, what do you want me to sow? Everybody just type that out right now. God, what do you want my part of the offering tonight to be? I want you to make sure that it, it's a seed that costs you something. After that, we're going to begin to pray. I want you to make sure that it is a seed that costs you something. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Did somebody just type out two, 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 two? Are you going to sow $2 billion for us to us? We're going to receive it. Glory to God. Y'all, the need in the nations is overwhelming. And so we sow several times a week as a ministry into the nations, and the need is overwhelming. Um, so we want to bless the nations tonight. But I want you to know that tonight, when you sow this seed, I want you to say, God, I'm sowing it for my generation. God, I'm sowing it that tonight is the night that the curse breaks. Are you asking the Lord tonight? Tonight is the night that the curse breaks. I thank you, Father, that the curse is broken. Some people are saying they're here to sow 222. Glory to God. That's powerful. Denise, we're praying. Hallelujah. So after you hear a number, I heard my number. It's the biggest seed I've ever sown at one time. Um, I, we, we, we sow thousands monthly as a ministry, as my business. But um, the Lord told me to sow at one time tonight, 2,222. Um, if you feel comfortable to write the number, the Lord told you to sow. Uh, hallelujah. And you don't have to, okay? You don't have to. And then when you're ready to sow, I want you to type out, I'm ready to sow tonight. And we're going to worship the Lord with our giving tonight. Bridget is a regular sower to our ministry today. She got a mind-blowing testimony. There are some testimonies that are happening right now with people that are sowing into our ministry. It's so big. It's so big. They're telling me don't share it yet. It's so big. They're telling me don't share it yet. Hallelujah. So when you're ready to sow tonight, I want you to type out, I'm ready to sow. Glory to God. When you're ready to sow tonight, I want you to type out, make sure that it's, somebody wrote down 707, 7 million rands. Go ahead and sow it. If that's what the Lord lays, I want you to know that every dime, I don't pay myself for this broadcast. I actually sow into the broadcast. And like I said, I make an, ex I do an example. Uh, and I tell you the amount to stretch you. Okay, because I'm not a, I'm gonna be a millionaire very soon. Okay, with the way I've been sewing, I'm gonna be a millionaire very soon. Okay, um, but I usually sew a thousand dollars after I come and preach to you all. I sew a thousand dollars to the work of the Lord, hallelujah! And uh, thank you all for sewing tonight. Every single person, make sure you have a seed ready. I want everybody to so I'm gonna begin to pray over those who are sewing tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Make sure it's something that costs you something. Make sure it's something that costs you something. Glory to God. Make sure it's a seed that costs you something. Glory to God. And as we are sowing right now, after you sow, I want you to lift up your hands. It's your act of worship unto the Lord. And I want you to begin to call out to the Lord. After you sow tonight, for some of you, the Lord is going to tell you to partner with what we're doing. We have begun to sow regularly. We sent a seed into South Africa. They had a flood. 
in South Africa and so we send a significant seed and right after this broadcast we're going to send another seed out to South Africa so every single person that has sowed tonight I want you to, that, or that is sowing I want you to lift up your hands glory to God if the Lord tells you to sow something really sacrificial some of you God is going to tell you to sow a thousand dollars hallelujah somebody God is going to tell you to sow ten thousand hallelujah that's that's me <laughs> That's me, okay? It's coming. I'm putting it together, and I'm getting my $10,000 seed ready, and I'm going to sow it. I was, so, I was listening to Dr. Cindy Trim, and she was talking about how she began to sow in the thousands. And that's, I don't know if you all know who Dr. Cindy Trim is, but that was what catapulted her ministry to where it is right now. So some of you, God is going to tell you to sow sacrificially. God is going to tell you to do a 555. God could tell you to do a 111. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But make sure it's something that costs you something. Make sure it's a seed that costs you something. So everybody that has sowed tonight, I want to begin to pray over you. And then we're going to begin to... Destiny, thank you for the seed, Marian. I see some of your seeds coming in. Thank you, Kelly. God bless you. Thank you, Opera And I can see the seeds coming in. God bless you. Thank God bless you, Ginger. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to begin to pray. Glory to God. God bless you, April. I see that uh, mega seed. God bless you, woman of God. I declare a billion fold harvest for that sacrificial seed that you have sowed in the powerful, powerful, powerful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So all who are sowing tonight, uh, I, I, and, and, and as long as you heard the Lord and you gave to God something that cost you something, I want you to type it out tonight and say, God bless you, Pearl. God bless you, Susan. I want you to type that tonight. I gave to the Lord a seed that cost me something. Tonight, I gave to the Lord a seed that cost me something. And I want to begin to pray over you. God bless you, Caitlin, for that massive seed. God bless you, a billion fold in Jesus' name. God bless you, Kelly. I may not call your name, y'all. I'm not seeing. I can only see the cash apps coming in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I want to begin to pray right now over all who are sowing. And some of you, while we're praying, God is going to speak to you to sow again. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. If the Lord tells you, I promise every dollar that you sow is going to go into good use tonight. It's so interesting. I want to declare Isaiah chapter 60 over you all tonight. Glory to God. So I want all who have sowed tonight, I want you to lift up your hands. And I want to begin to declare over you. I want to declare in the name of Jesus that, that, that a blessing Abraham sowed unto the Lord. And the Lord said to Abraham, the Lord said, now I know. Maronda Librushka Prenda Libraskaya Labando Rebaksa. The Lord said to Abraham, He said, Now I know. Nemronde Libakia Rabaksata. I want to declare over every single person that is watching tonight that are so sacrificially. I want to declare that the blessing of the Lord, Rabashanda Labasa that brings wealth and adds no sorrow with it will be released upon your life right now by the power and the authority of Jesus' name. I want to declare Isaiah chapter 60 over you. Give me, give me a heads up emoji. I want to declare Isaiah chapter 60 over you. I declare that you are rising. All those that have sought tonight, I want you to type out, I'm rising. And then I want you to type out what you're rising out of. I want, shoo. Ha. Han raba shaka raba baba saka de boso. Likra sunta la baba shaka de bosata. Lebrendushka i tapunde le masika raba baba sata. I want you to type out what you're rising out of. Nendre baki ala basanda la basaya la basaye. Endra baki ala basondre baki if you're rising out of lack, I want you to type it out. If you're rising out of depression, I want you to type it out. If you're rising out of poverty, I want you to type it out. If you're rising out of distress, I want you to type it out. Type out what you're rising up out of. 
Glory to God. Can we begin to pray? Don't leave after you sow your seed because we're going to pray at the end. But can we begin to pray right now? Can we begin to declare what we are rising up out of? And I want you to type out, this is my moment of rising. This is my moment of rising. Come on, those that sowed tonight into this broadcast. I declare, arise and shine in the name of... I want to see those that have sowed tonight to begin to type out. And I want you to talk to the Lord and say, God, I'm rising out of lack. I'm rising out of poverty. I'm rising out of oppression. I'm rising out of depression. I'm rising out of just to not begin to talk to God. All who have so tonight. In the name of Jesus, I declare arise and shine. For your light has come. For the glory, Brianna, God bless you. For the glory of the Lord rises to shine upon you. I declare that tonight. Y'all lift up your hands. Give me a hands up emoji. All those who sow tonight, I declare that the glory of the Lord is rising upon your seed. In the name of Jesus. I declare that where the enemy has tried to oppose or oppress you. In the mighty name of Jesus tonight. That that oppression will break. That tonight as a, a, upon your seed. That a harvest of a billion fold will be released in the powerful, powerful, powerful name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus upon those who are so tonight that in the power of the name of Jesus that nation shall come to your light in the name of Jesus that the Lord will call and cause your destiny to expand and increase in the powerful name of Jesus that it will increase exceedingly it will increase abundantly in the name of Jesus that every force that has tried to silence your voice will be broken tonight in the mighty name of Jesus I declare that every force every stronghold every power that has tried to rob your destiny tonight in the name of Jesus the thief has been caught I declare a bountiful, a billion full harvest upon your seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you begin to talk to God tonight? All who have sought tonight, can you begin to talk to God? Glory to God. I decree and declare that you will look and be radiant in the name of Jesus. Your heart will swell with joy. I declare that the joy of the Lord is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. Just, just shake off everything from the last season. Everything that has held you back. Everything that has held you bound. Everything that has opposed you in the last season. Just begin to shake off. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' powerful name, I declare that right now, the wealth of the seized will be brought to you. I declare that wealth from nations will be released to you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. There's somebody that even sowed a seed tonight and you told God, you said, God, I'm sowing this seed. And I'm trusting you for my healing. I declare and decree, excuse me, in the powerful name of Jesus, that your body is healed. That the healing presence and power of the living God right now is released upon your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody right here on this altar. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to tell the Lord what it is that you are contending for. Can we wage war with our seed for a second? There was a woman that she was a Shunammite woman. And she was barren. And when she, her, she gave birth to a son. And then her son died. And she literally laid her son. She laid her son on her seed. She laid her son on her seed. Marunda la bashaka. Lebrondesca la basata. 
and for everyone who is watching tonight, whose promise seems to have died prematurely, I want you to lay your promise on your seat tonight and say, God, as I sow this seed sacrificially, I thank you that my marriage is restored. God, as I sow this seed sacrificially, I thank you, Lord God, that the promise that you make to me concerning my children is released. God, as I sow this seed sacrificially, I thank you, God, that what you spoke over my destiny, God, tonight is released by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare in Jesus' mighty name that Abasha, that foreign acts will rebuild your world. God bless you, Merlin, for that seed. God bless you, a billion fold. I declare that foreign acts will rebuild your walls. In the name of Jesus, I declare for all who have sold that feels like the enemy has come in to try to destroy your promise. I declare that this will be your night of rebuilding, that your business will begin to rebuild, that your destiny will begin to rebuild, that your calling will begin to rebuild, that your family will begin. Some of you, I can feel tonight that what you sowed unto the Lord was a sacrifice. It cost you something. And I bless you. I bless your destiny. I declare the word of God says, he was telling in the book of Malachi, he said that they had robbed him in tithes and in offerings. But then he said, when they began to give, he said, prove me now and see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to contain. I decree and declare right now upon all who have sought, may the heavens of God open over you. May the blessing of God be released upon your storehouses. May the blessing of the Lord that brings wealth and has not sorrow with it. Come on, are you guys receiving this tonight? A lot of you sought tonight. Rabat Shokar May the blessing of the Lord that brings wealth and acts no sorrow with it may it be released upon your life exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think in the name of Jesus. I just feel to do this right now for all who sowed a seed tonight before we move on. I want you to tell, type out what you are trusting God for, and I want to pray over it. I just want to take a few more minutes. For all who have sowed tonight, hallelujah, glory to God. The, the Shunammite woman, when she sowed her seed, she was trusting God for a son. There's a blessing on this word. I want you to tell God, tell God what you are wanting to see happen. You can't buy a miracle, but a seed moves the hand of God. We saw it so many times in the Bible. Rabba Shatta. For those who have sown tonight, wow, April, I just decree and declare that the miracle of fruitfulness will come upon your, your family, will come upon your life. Nicole, I declare a release of restoration over your marriage. I just, you're, I'm not going to call everybody's name, but you talk to God. You talk to God right now, even in just this moment of worship. I'm just going to take about two more minutes, and then we're going to begin to pray over everybody. You begin to talk to God. As somebody watching right now that you, uh, I don't know if it's somebody that's sold. I feel like somebody that's sold. You have a pain in your, in your gums right here. And the power of God is touching you. And I hear the Lord say there is even a healing anointing. Charlene, God bless you for that seed. Hallelujah. Talk to God right now. Talk to God right now. Take about one more. The Lord is telling me, give you about one more minute. Give you about two more minutes. Just you and the Lord. Just you and the Lord. Just you and the Lord. Just tell God, this is an altar of miracles. 
Tell God right now what you are believing God for upon this seed. Hallelujah. Sondre Bascuta Lemrando Kianto Likriski Panduske Lekrindos Kiande Nendruska Taika Lobrushki Kawushka Taya. Talk to God about what you're believing Him for tonight. Talk to God. Rabba Shonda Rabba Talk to Him tonight. He's here. Mande Libasia Labarosh Kataya. Lendre Bakia Labasundri Bakaye. Nondrish Kataya Labasa. And I bless you with the answer to your prayer. Lift your hands one more time, all who have so tonight. I bless you with the answer to your prayer. I bless you. Now, God, God blesses everyone. But the Lord said there is a blessing that is poured out when the seed is sown. I didn't say the book of Malachi did. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's done in the name of Jesus. So right now, family, right now, Yes, Susan, it will come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Right now, family, everybody watching, I want us to begin to go into a time of prayer. We talked about how the enemy came and tried to steal your identity. But the word of the Lord says in Galatians, glory to God. The word of the Lord says in Galatians chapter 3 in verse 13. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs upon a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us. So right now, I want you to begin to talk to the Lord. And I want you to tell the Lord, everybody, this is everybody watching right now. I want you to say, God, tonight... I will not allow the enemy to silence my voice anymore. Tonight, I will not allow the enemy to silence my voice anymore. What is it that you are wanting to break out of tonight? What is it that you are wanting in your identity to unlock tonight? I want you to begin to talk to God. Come on, for about 10 minutes, we're going to go into a time of prayer. Babrosh Katab. And I want you to begin to declare, and I'm going to begin to declare over you. Father, I just begin to declare over your sons and your daughters this evening, oh God, that in the name of Jesus, I break off the power of the serpentine spirit that has tried to be a chokehold over their destinies in the powerful name of Jesus. I decree, I decree and declare that they are set free from the oppression and the opposition of the enemy. Father, you said in your word that there was a woman who had been bowed low in the book of John. She had been bowed low for 18 years and she couldn't know what lift herself up but the word of the lord says jesus came and he said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity i declare and decree right now in the mighty name of jesus that you are loosed that you are set free from everything that has hindered your voice from everything that has hindered you from birthing the business everything that hindered you from birthing your promise everything that hindered your marriage from moving forward i activate a realm of miracles i activate a realm of signs i activate a realm of wonders Family, we have seen over 2,500 miracles to take place on this broadcast. So right now is the moment we command the curse to break. We stand upon the authority of the word of God. In Numbers chapter 3, in verse 23. Numbers chapter 3, in verse 23. Numbers chapter 3. Numbers chapter 3. Numbers chapter 3. In verse 23, it says, For surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, and there is no divination against Israel that can stand. Right now, I decree and declare every enchantment, every divination against your destiny, every curse and operation. Come on, I need you to pray. Pray for about 10 minutes. This is not the time to log off the broadcast. This is the time to take it back. 
This is the time to take it by force. This is the time to take back your miracle. This is the time to take back your breakthrough. This is the time to take back your promise. Mandoska, Mandondo, Marinde Libakia la Baksakata, Remo Shokondo Bokete. I hear the Spirit of God say, Sons and daughters, rise up and fight for your families. Right now, I want I, I feel led to pray in the Holy Ghost for about five minutes. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost for about five minutes. God bless you, Bridget. I just saw your seed come through. God bless you, a billion fold. As we're praying, somebody's feeling like something on your chest. If you can cough it up and spit it out, that's a deliverance taking place. I break the curse of failure at the edge of your breakthrough. I break the, the curse that has hindered you from launching and soaring in that business, in that ministry, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's go for about five minutes in the Holy Ghost. Robo bobo robo shakara la ba para ba sakata ba rubu ka kari ba ka rubu ka li ba ka si la ba ka ti ba ka ta la ba sata. I feel like I hear like 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 a, a clashing of swords in the realm of the spirit, and that's God fighting for you to release your breakthrough. Kare ba sa. There's somebody watching, and there is a property that has been held from you. For a long season, and the Lord said He's being released right now. Kakapongo kapa, kakapongo pakaya, kakaponga gia kapanga gaskotela banga ka, kakapoko, kakakua kapa, kakakua kapu, kakua kapa kaka, koko kakua kakua, kukua kakua kakua kakua, yeka kai kai kakua kaka. Come on, can you travel for your destiny? For a few more minutes, we're just praying right now over everybody. Hongo gua shwanga, hongo gua shwanga. Terrence, I see you going into this dark place and you are taking this what looks like a treasure box and it just represents your destiny and you're saying, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Ain't no dringy. Let's pray for about three more minutes in the Holy Ghost. This moment is so pivotal. We are accessing the finished work of the cross. Everybody just type but I take it back. I take back my destiny. I receive my properties. I receive it. 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 I take it back, God. I, I feel I, this is okay, y'all. Allow me to minister to myself for a second. I feel like there's a commercial property. I need my risk. God, I take it for our ministry and our business. I take it debt free. I feel like there's three residential properties. Okay, can I prophesy to myself for a second? I take those three residential properties debt free in the name of Jesus. Husha, Edende, Hawaii, Shia Kapaye, Londris, Katu, Rebas, Kataya, Lindrush, Kai, Kapron, Delis, Kata. Pray for about two more minutes. Lebros, Kataye. I feel like a heat in coming in my eyes. And that's the Lord. Uh, that, 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 that's the Lord restoring vision. Edundre, Kaya, Indre, Kai, Skundi. Rindis kulamba diska trukush kataya. Whoo! Somebody's gonna begin to feel like a cool wind in your mouth. Like a cool wind in your mouth. You're gonna begin to feel like a cool wind in your mouth. That is the breath of God touching your mouth. I feel the power of the Lord. Ginger, the Lord is anointing you afresh. I just see you on your face. I don't even know if you're on your face before the Lord right now. 
Jinja, I hear the Lord say promises that you have forgotten from many years ago. They're coming to you right now. Jesus. Yeah, we release the healing presence of God. Do you all feel the atmosphere change? Do you all feel the atmosphere change? I feel it. And right now, in this moment, the Lord is instructing me to do something. Afe, if you can share that link to our, our, our upcoming uh, life transforming course. One of the things the Lord has been speaking to me about is that too many people, their destinies have been robbed because they did not know who they are. I always tell my breakthrough coaching family this. Do you know how great you are? And do you know how to fully unlock that greatness on the inside of you? Some time ago, I had a very powerful dream that marked me. It's a sweet presence tonight. If you can thank you for doing that. I had a powerful dream that marked me. In this dream, I saw these bandits, these thieves. They were coming into this building and they were trying to rob these people. And I was trying to call out for them to take cover. And they did not realize that the enemy was trying to rob them. And as I lifted my voice in the dream, the enemy had guns. They had military uniform, but they were not the military. Yes, Ginger, it's going to be a great course. Ginger already signed up. Glory to God. Tonight, several of you are going to jump in because it's time for you to take back your destiny by force. Glory to God. And so what happened was, in this dream, the enemy is robbing, trying to rob these people. And I'm screaming, but some of them are not even listening. And, and they come into the building and they said, get on the floor. And as my head touched the ground, I felt my head against my pillow and I woke up. I had left my audio Bible on when I woke up. I heard my, in my audio Bible, the Lord said, Rescue those who are being led away into captivity. And I had that dream about 10 years ago, about 14, yeah, let me see. Sorry, guys, let me get my numbers right. I had that dream about eight years ago. And the Lord reminded me, he woke me up at 2 a.m. a few weeks ago. And he said, Agnes, it's time to rescue my people from captivity. I said, yes, Lord. And he spoke to me for three hours. I said, God, how do I rescue you? I said, Papa, how do I rescue your people out of captivity? He said, my people go into captivity for lack of knowledge. They don't know what's in them and they don't know how to unlock it. So, so many are living below their identity because they don't know who they are. The Lord told me, to create this course and merge the prophetic with entrepreneurship. If you believe that you have a purpose, this course is for you. Your destiny deserves you to invest in yourself. So I want everybody right now, thank you, Prophet D. I want everybody right now to click on it. Hallelujah. We almost done, Prophet S. You came in at the end, but God bless you. I love you so much. Hallelujah. I want you to check it out. Glory to God. I want you to click on the link. Hallelujah. And I want you to be a part. We have several people that have already jumped in. Glory to God. Tasha, just release. Yes, these. Okay, you're not late. We can restart the party for you. <laughs> Tasha, I just release the healing presence of God over you right now in the name of Jesus. So if you believe that there's something that God has placed on the inside of you, that's what all of hell has fought you for. That's what the battle has been about. Is the, is the great destiny that God has put on the inside of you. It's because the enemy does not want you to discover what, what God has put on the inside of you. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we've been going for a while on this broadcast tonight. Before we end the broadcast, I just want to give people the opportunity to be a part of, I'm calling it FBI. It's our financial breakthrough intensive. Hallelujah. We're going to be, it's going to be in July. The reason why we open it up so early is because we want us to be able to do a payment plan so that that way people could take advantage of the payment plan. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I, when I was in college, I didn't have money to pay for college. I didn't know if I was going to get sent home. I didn't know. I didn't want to be illegal in the United States. I was cleaning toilets. I was vacuuming offices. And the Lord began to speak to me that there was something greater on the inside of me. And I began to take courses. I began to educate myself. I began to take several spiritual courses. And I began to take several college courses in my case, right? And I just recently got my doctorate degree. Glory to God. Now, you don't need a doctorate degree to do what God has called you to do. But that was my instruction, okay? But it's my passion to impart wisdom to those who God has created for something more. But they're living at such a lower place because they don't realize or recognize what God has put on the inside of them. Thank you, Prophet D. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So who is it tonight? The course is not for everybody. The course is only for those if you watch the whole message and you say, Agnes, there's something God has put on the inside of me. Thank you, Terrence. There's something God has put on the inside of me. That's you. Just give me a hand up emoji or type out a yes. Hallelujah. Yes, what's on the inside of you is much greater. I want to just bless all who are, who are registering for the course tonight. Now, the payment plan, the three payment plan ends in three days. Okay? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want to give you an opportunity to jump in tonight. You can jump in with the payment plan. Your destiny deserves it. Your purpose deserves it. Your generation deserves it deserves it your bloodline deserves it glory to god so is there anybody watching tonight if it's not you, you you're, you're free to you're free to leave the broadcast like we're pretty much done ministering i just want to speak to those who feel like there's something more on the inside of you and you're not leaving until you access it several of you watching have already signed up we have several people that have already signed up but there's some of you tonight, this is the first time you're hearing about it. Or there's some of you tonight that you had heard about it, but you were going to sign up this week. So I want to speak a blessing over all who are signing up tonight. Glory to God. Who is God speaking to that you're saying, I'm going to do what it takes. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let my destiny be cheated anymore. I'm not going to let me, I'm not going to let my children be cheated anymore. I'm not going to let my bloodline be cheated anymore. Glory to God. If you all know Dr. Lanika Scott, she's one of my good friends, big sisters. She was talking about the fact that she was living on food stamps. And she made a step and she began to get knowledge. And today she's a multimillionaire. She shares her testimony on Facebook. Because she took a step and she began to study how to do it. Glory to God. And so if God is speaking to you this evening, I'm going to wait. You're the only one I still have this broadcast on for. I want to bless you. Glory to God. I want you to click on that link. I want you to join the course. There's already several of us that have joined. Hallelujah. I'm going to read you all a little bit about what you're going to be getting. We've never done anything like this before. But what was happening was we're doing several one-day courses or several one-day events. And we were finding out that we couldn't get through it in a day. <laughs> breakthrough Coaching Family would tell you when we have Breakthrough Coaching, we can't get through it. It's too much content. There's too much content. You're talking 17 years of content. I've been studying for, for over 17 years and have over 10, over a decade of experience. And I try to compile it into a day and it's never enough time. So the Lord woke me up at 2 a.m. and he said, take them on a three-day journey. I actually launched the course during resurrection because the Lord said to me, Oh, my team is trying to share a different link. Oops, it's not time to share that link yet. <laughs> Glory to God. My team's getting excited. Just leave the FBI for a second. We want to give people a chance to be a part of that, and then we're going to bless them. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. So who is it that God is speaking to tonight? Oh, by the way, let me read to you what you're going to be getting uh, during the three-day journey. This is what you're going to be getting. Again, it's not for everybody. It's only for those if you are called as an entrepreneur, if you are called to ministry, if you are called to, to, to be promoted on your job. I became executive director of my job. Um, in the pandemic and, and basically grew and exploded the company. So these are the tools I want to share with you. Um, if you don't feel like there's anything particularly great that God has put on the inside of you, which I'm trying to tease in, everybody knows God has put something great on the inside of them. So would you be interested in finding out um, what this is about? Do you want me to read it to you? If y'all are not interested, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the broadcast. <laughs> Do y'all want me to read to you what you're going to be, um, what you're going to be getting in the three days of um, FBI. If you're interested in, just tell me I'm interested. I'm going to read it. Okay. Y'all don't make me read the whole thing and then be like, well, whatever. <laughs> Do I have anyone that God is talking to tonight? And it's okay. You're interested in the, okay, Lisa, I'm going to read it for Lisa's sake. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So this is what you're going to be getting in FBI. Hallelujah. I'll be taking you on a three day journey where I will be unpacking to you the mega power secrets that I have learned from over a decade of coaching now multi-millionaires and mega influencers in ministry and marketplace and empowering them to take their idea from blueprint to breakthrough. Is there anyone, okay, Susan is interested, awesome. Is there anyone that God has given you an idea and right now is in, is in seed form, is in baby form, glory to God. It's so interesting, I took a class with a uh, doctor, uh, uh, Miss uh, Sandy Krakowski. I was going to say doctor. I don't know if she's a doctor. I took a class with uh, Sandy Krakowski was teaching one of the courses. And by the end of that two-hour class, my income had quadrupled. She's a multimillionaire. And she gave me one idea. So some of you, your blueprint is one idea away from birthing. So what I'm going to be doing with you for three days is I'm going to be sitting down with you and I'm going to be giving you power tools that has cost me a decade. If I, I always tell people the prices we put on our courses really are not what they are worth. They're actually worth thousands of dollars um, because I, I continue to go to school. Even after my doctorate, I'm still taking courses. Hallelujah, I'm taking entrepreneurship courses. I'm taking ministry courses. I'm taking prophetic courses. I'm continuously educating myself. And so what you're getting for a very, very affordable amount cost me, if I aggregated, almost $200,000. But I want to bless the body of Christ because, like I said, I had that dream and the Lord said to me, he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And so people are not giving themselves to knowledge. So they've maxed out one level and there's a frustration and they can't go into their next level because the enemy has kept them stuck because they don't know how to get there. How many of you know that if you're driving and all of a sudden there's rain and you can't see, you wouldn't be able to go to your next level. But in this three-day journey, I'm going to be unlocking you into your next level. So the next question I ask you is, do you believe that your moment has come for a gigantic financial breakthrough? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? If you believe that tonight, type out yes. Do you believe that your moment has come um, for a gigantic... Somebody just signed up for the course. Bridget, where to go? After you sign up for the course, just type out, I just access gold. Because I'm telling y'all, the price you're paying for this course, you can't get gold for that amount, okay? But it costs me gold <laughs> to bring it to you. You're welcome, all right? Bridget just uh, jumped in, and uh, I think Terrence is, Terrence is jumping in as well. Terrence, I'm calling you out. Those are my coaching family, y'all. I can mess with them. <laughs> Terrence is jumping in as well. I'm speaking that because he promised me I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm actually not teasing Terrence. He said he was going to join today. I'm calling Terrence out. That's my brother right there. Um, yeah, type out, I just access gold. So let me keep reading, y'all. Are y'all are still listening? Okay. If your answer is yes, then you're cordially invited to click on the link to be my guest at our mega financial breakthrough Zoom interactive intensive like i said the price you see on there it's honestly a joke compared to what i paid to access what i'm bringing to you all just one of the courses i took was 1250 dollars to teach this course just one of them 
Another one was $500. That's just two of them, okay? I didn't even put in what, what it cost me to get my doctorate. So um, I've done a lot of studying uh, to what I'm going to be teaching. So um, let me give you a little bit more detail of what I'm going to be giving you, what you're going to be learning over the course of three days, okay? If you click on that blue button, it's going to give you a breakdown of a little bit of our coursework. What we're going to be doing, it says, here are a few of the many topics that you will build mega expertise in over the course of three powerful days. I'll be giving you power tools on the three biggest wealth creation tools proven by multi-billionaires. What I'm doing right now in preparation for that, I heard a minister in Africa, um, they have 600,000 members. I think, no, excuse me. They have 300,000 members in their church and they have three universities. And uh, when he was starting, their, and their universities are world class. When he was starting their universities, he went and studied out the beginnings of 50 different universities, okay? And uh, he studied out Harvard. He studied out Oral Roberts University. And now their university is world class. So what I'm doing is I'm going into the autobiographies of the 10 richest men in the world. And I'm studying out some of the power tools that they have used to unlock their wealth. Because in my breakthrough coaching, I have real estate agents, I have physicians, I have, I've worked with attorneys, I have people who are maxing uh, in, in their, their heads of their spheres of influence, I have ministers, and so I have to keep, I have to ride the cutting edge. So I'm gonna be giving you the three biggest wealth creation tools that I've learned so far. Um, I didn't just watch it in a movie. I actually studied out and I'm studying now the lives of the 10 richest men in the world. Would you all know? Would you all like to know the three biggest wealth creation tools? Michelle says she can. Michelle, are you already signed up? I didn't think I saw your name. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I didn't know if you were already signed up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who y'all are working me hard. I'm still reading. Susan and, uh, and Lisa still listening. Because they're the ones that they're making me read all of this. <laughs> I'm going to be teaching you the three biggest wealth creation tools proven by multi-billionaires. I'm going to be teaching you how to prophetically and professionally discover, demystify, and diversify your inner strength. Okay? How many of you know that there's something so powerful God has put on the inside of you? Excuse me. I'm going to be teaching you how to maximize the power of your special skill. To stand out in ministry and marketplace. I'm going to be teaching you qualitative content creation, expansion, and maximization. I'm going to be teaching you diversified digital marketing. Um, I want you to realize that we are moving from an industrial age to a digital age. I was just watching a video of a lady yesterday. She's the first African-American multi-billionaire. And uh, she actually runs a multi-billion dollar firm. And uh, she was talking about how to ride the cutting edge. And she was talking about innovations. So I'm going to be teaching you, if you're called as an entrepreneur, if you're called, now you can log off if you're not interested right now in growing your destiny. But if you, I want to talk to, I want to talk to those who are saying, I know there's something God has put on inside of me. God has given me a business idea. God has told me the birth and ministry. God has told me to advance my career. God has told me, God has called me to the family mountain. But I need to know how to do it well. Hallelujah. So I'm going to, those are the people I want to work with at FBI. I'm telling you, I talk, even my coaching group, a lot of them have joined. I said, all of y'all, I said, if you're not ready to work, don't come. I'm not just trying to get numbers, but I need those that are saying enough is enough. I will no longer allow the enemy to silence my destiny. I'm going to do something about this, right? So I'm going to be teaching you diversified digital marketing. I'm going to be teaching you power tools to prosper and expand your profitability. It's okay for me to teach you how to prosper. How many people would like to learn how to prosper? How, oh, Michelle already signed up. That's awesome. Welcome, Michelle. How many people would like to learn how to prosper? I want you to type out the Lord. I want, I want to learn how to prosper. <laughs> yes, Bridget's already signed up. She's now the amen corner. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm almost done reading. I'm going to bless you and let you go. I want to bless all those who are joining the course tonight. I've, I've just been doing that. Um, there's quite a few of us now that have signed up. I think we're at about 47 now uh, that have jumped in. And um, spaces are filling up fast. And I'm going to be teaching you uh, power tools to prospering and expanding your profitability. So I'm going to be teaching you how to profit. And you'll be entered into an exclusive Facebook group specifically designed for this, okay? And then I want to encourage those who are signing up today. Now, who is it that God, is God speaking to anybody? Okay, 
All right. So those that God is talking to right now, do it. You, your destiny is worth it. You're not doing it to help me. You're doing it to help you. Does that make sense? You're, I'm going to be teaching you all. <laughs> so some people will invest, you know, they will pay any, for anybody else, especially mamas. We're really, we're really, we do that. And we should take care of our kids, right? But we will be quick to drop $1,000 when it's something for our spouse. We'll be quick to drop $1,000 when it's something. But just to spend a couple of hundred dollars on ourselves, you give yourself a hard time. So uh, Nicole says she wants to learn how to prosper. Click on the link. I want to pray over all who are joining the course tonight. I'm going to pray over um, um, Bridget. I'm going to pray over... Um, I'm going to pray. Okay, somebody else just signed up. Nicole just signed up. That's awesome. After you sign up, it'll give you a VIP option. It's not for everybody. The VIP option is for those who want that extra feedback. So what I'm going to be doing in the VIP option, God bless you, Nicole. Can we congratulate Nicole and just type out, I, she just accessed gold. And Nicole, you type out, I just accessed gold. Glory to God. I'm going to pray over Nicole. I'm going to pray. But I feel like there's two other people, maybe two other ladies that God is speaking to, to do this for yourself. Your destiny deserves it. Hallelujah. Your generations to come. Thank you for it. Now, if you want a more personalized touch, I want you to look into the VIP option. Okay? Somebody type out upgrade. <laughs> Somebody type out upgrade. Glory to God. Nicole just accessed gold. Hallelujah. Kelly already signed up. God bless you. Um, I want you to type out upgrade because I want to tell you what you're going to be getting uh, in the VIP option. Hallelujah. So in the VIP option, I just write on there really quickly. I said, who does not want a royal experience? The word of God says that you're royalty, a king, a queen, set apart to impact your world with heaven's resources. At FBI VIP, you'll be treated as royalty. I have prepared a more personal, exclusive experience for you. At FBI Realty Experience, I will be walking and working with you hand in hand on your specific idea or ideas and giving you individualized feedback in a more intimate, small group setting. You get to speak to me directly about this burning idea that God has placed in you and I will give you the three biggest steps on birthing your God idea into reality and or expanding it into next level global capacity. Do you believe that you are royalty and called to influence your world and make a difference? If your answer is yes, then click on this link for a heavily discounted but destiny defining experience. I'll see you in the elevated experience. And then I sign my name and it says, due to the personalized access to me, the VIP spots are very limited. We can only do 14 per group. And the VIP spot, most people that have signed up are actually signing up VIP because they want that personal touch. Uh, if you're thinking of getting the VIP pass, please do so now before the spots fill up. I love y'all, but, but if the VIPs fill up, it's gonna, that's it, okay? Because we can only, we only have capacity for so many in VIP, hallelujah. So who is it tonight? I wanna pray and bless y'all, and I know I've, been, I've kept y'all for a while. Who is it tonight that God is speaking to um, about doing something about what he has placed on the inside of you? I wanna pray for Bridget. I wanna pray and just bless. Why, Agnes, why do you pray for them? This is, this is a commitment. They just committed to upgrade their lives, and I wanna speak a blessing over that. That's okay, all right? So I want to pray over Bridget. I want to pray over um, Nicole. Hallelujah. Who else is watching? If you're still watching, that means probably God is speaking to you about doing something um, with what he has placed on the inside of you. About doing something about your destiny. About doing something about the business idea. About doing something about the ministry idea that he has placed on the inside of you. Glory to God. So I want to pray over Bridget and Nicole real quick. But before I do that, is there anybody else tonight that would say, Agnes, God has put this great idea on the inside of me and it's time for it to come forth. I need language. One of the things I always tell people, I don't, I don't tell you who I'm not. I know who I am in the spirit. I am an apostolic midwife. There is a, I can't tell you all the testimonies. It's so secret. Um, the testimonies of the, the caliber of people that we are unlocking right now. They're begging me. They're like, Agnes, this is, this is, these are testimonies that involve Fortune 500 companies. 
that if I call their name on a broadcast, it might get the people involved in trouble. And so they're telling me, Agnes, this is a testimony you can't share it on social media. So <laughs> I can't tell you the fruit of people who are doing this, um, what they're getting. I, I can't. Because I, I gotta maintain their confidence. I'm also a licensed counselor, so I gotta maintain confidentiality. But I'm telling you all, um, the level of breakthrough you're about to step into uh, is unprecedented. Glory to God. Kathy just signed up. God bless you, Kathy. Let's just type out, uh, Kathy, you just accessed gold. Woo, I feel the power of God. I'm gonna begin to minister right now. I want you to type out, Kathy, you just accessed gold. Glory to God. Is there anybody else before I begin to pray tonight? I want to just pray over those who are joining FBI. One of the things in, in our breakthrough coaching group, we've been praying over them almost on a week, practically on a weekly basis, several times a week. And one of the things that I, 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 I want to speak over you all that are going to be a part of the FBI course is that the Lord will begin to hover over you in dreams. Hallelujah. Uh, there was a lady that was on the Sid Roth show. I don't know if you have heard about the Sid Roth show. There was a lady that was on the Sid Roth show. The Lord gave her one dream about a solution in ophthalmology. And when she took that solution to the ophthalmologist, they told her, please, may we give you only $20 million for your idea. So I want to pray over all who are joining FBI tonight. Just give me a hands up emoji. And if God is speaking to you about it, don't fight it. Go ahead and join. Go ahead and be blessed. Go ahead and be a part. Your destiny deserves it. Your purpose deserves it. God gave them talents. And, and then the king came and said, what did you do with what I put on the inside of you? I always tell people, does it bother you what's going on in the world right now? Do you know that you are holding the key to the answer? Esther 414, do you know that you were born for such a time as this? Glory to God. And so what I want to do right now is I want to pray over all who God is speaking to. Hallelujah. And then some of you are looking at it and saying, hey, I'm going to sign up in the next few weeks. I want to pray over you as well. Who are those that God is telling and you're saying, hey, Agnes, I want to do it, but I'm, I get paid next week. Because <laughs> I had Bridget, right, Bridget? Br Sorry, honey, I'm calling you out. Last week, when the thing came out, Bridget was like, give me a couple of weeks. Because sometimes, you know, you have to budget and that's fine. You know, it's okay. It's not that she's very wealthy, but she got a, you know, budget. And so, you know, and then it was Terrence as well and a couple of folks. They were like, all right, this is great. We get me, but give us a couple of weeks. And so, you know, Bridget just jumped on. And <laughs> right, Bridget, you know, we got to get it done. And Bridget got a major financial miracle today. Y'all hit her up. She got, I'm teasing. <laughs> Uh, she's a part of our breakthrough coaching family and uh, and God is they are getting so many financial miracles in there as well So I want to pray over Bridget. I want to pray over Nicole and uh, I want to pray over uh, Kathy as well and uh, if you're saying that's right Bridget better and you're not even late because we're two months out So you're way early girl. So you're good so let's pray over them really quickly and uh, is there anybody else that God is speaking to about FBI and you're saying hey I'm going to sign up next week. I'm going to sign up in two weeks. Um, now, the payment plan that you can split it in three, it ends in three days. So jump on that one if you can. But if the Lord is speaking to you about it and you're like, hey, it's okay. There's still going to be a payment plan after that. It's just going to be divided into two instead of divided into three. Okay. So if you want to really kick back payment plan, get it in three days. But if not, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up. We, we still got room in the party for you. Glory to God. So is there any, I feel like there's a couple of people. It's not everybody, but there's two people that God is speaking to. Um, hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, and uh, I, I want you to, uh, just let me know. Because I want to pray over you as well. I want to pray over you while I'm praying for Bridget. And praying for, um, praying for Kathy. And praying for, um, what's the other person? Nicole. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, guys. I keep looking down. Um, I can't see. <laughs> My phone started doing something funny towards the end right there. And I can't see. I can't see any comments on here. I can only see comments when I look down. So it's okay. We, we're making it work. <laughs> Glory to God. So let's pray um, over you all really quickly. Just give me a hand. Some emoji. Bridget, I just want to minister to you all, I want to begin to just speak that the Lord will uncover. I believe that creatives are arising 
And I believe that creative creativity is what is going to unlock the next realm of wealth. Creativity is what is going to unlock uh, the next level of wealth. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I just declare over, um, I declare over Bridget, I declare, excuse me, over Kathy, I declare, where are y'all at? I can't find, I can't see your comments. I'm just going to wait. Just make sure the comments are like, okay, there we go. There go Nicole. All right. I declare over Nicole. I declare over um, Bridget. I declare over Kathy. I declare over, I feel like there's two more people God is talking to. Actually, maybe two or three. Okay. Tama is going to sign up in the future. Tama, you're probably the one I was feeling. <laughs> Tama is a part of my coaching family too. Um, I just declare um, in Jesus' mighty name. Can we just pray over them? Some of you watching have already signed up. Can we just pray over them for a second? We're almost done with the broadcast. And uh, we just declare in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that that uh, the Lord will invade your dreams. I literally, for you all, I literally see the, hi, Crystal, God bless you. I literally see the Lord like standing over your bed. Hallelujah. And it's like, I see, okay, Lorna is signing up for FBI. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna pray over Lorna, pray over all of you, but I just wanna take a moment, pray over all who are committed to sign up or all who are signing up tonight. So that's five of you. I just declare right now, in the name of Jesus, that innovative ideas um, will begin to come. Innovative ideas is the reason why the airplane was created. And that's one of the things. We're going to create space for you to innovate um, in FBI. And so I just decree and declare in the powerful name of Jesus that um, innovative ideas are going to begin to come to you. You're going to hear a uh, Lorna. I hear the Spirit of God say that you will even hear a voice behind you uh, saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Lorna, it's like, I'm literally seeing you doing this number with your eyes. And I hear the Lord say that there are some skills that are going to fall up your eyes. There is such an anointing uh, of entrepreneurship upon you. And I just declare that it will come, come forth in Jesus' name. Bridget, I just declare um, business expansion over you in the powerful name of Jesus. And I bless everyone um, who is joining FBI tonight in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will unlock wealth to you and that breakthrough in an unprecedented level uh, will come to you, especially in the realm of your finances, in the realm of your business, in the realm of your ministry, in the realm of your families, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That the Lord will promote, propel, hallelujah, uh, and cause, it, cause you to be profound in your generation. I pray that Joseph anointing will rest upon your life to be uh, leaders in your sphere, uh, in your market, in your sphere of influence, in the powerful, powerful, powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all, it's not too late. If you haven't signed up for FBI yet, you can do that. Really quickly, welcome Rachel. Before I go, I'm going to take just five minutes for all of you who have hung with me to the end. I want to give you a gift, okay? If you want a gift, now, some of you already have this gift, all right? <laughs> if you're a part of my coaching family, you already have the gift, all right? I want to give you a gift. Um, if you've watched the broadcast up until this uh, level, welcome, Rachel. Welcome back. We're going to restart it because Rachel just jumped back on. Glory to God. If you would like a gift, if you're not a part of my coaching family and you would like a gift tonight, I want you to type out, I, I like gifts. I would like a gift. I just want to bless y'all real quick for about five minutes before I end the broadcast. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to give y'all a quick gift um, because you've hang, hung with me to the end. Glory to God. The word of God says, he who endures to the end. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm pretty much done preaching. I'm just, I'm just, I just need to, to give a gift real quick. Okay. <laughs> Denise says she lives for gifts. Okay. All right. I want to, uh, uh, if my team will share the link. Uh, to uh, my coaching, I want to gift you my coaching program uh, for one dollar for nine days. Hallelujah! <laughs> Those who are in coaching, sorry guys, you guys already got it. <laughs> you got more than that, right? Uh, I want you to check out my coaching program. Uh, if you have been blessed by this broadcast and you're like, man, I need more where that came from, uh, I want you to go ahead and click on the link that my team is about to share and. Uh, I want you to go ahead and it would just cost you a dollar uh, for nine days. And um, after nine days, if you decide that you love it, if you want to stick around, whatever you're going to be investing in yourself monthly is uh, basically 
like a 80 percent discount of what i would charge in corporate corporate america as a licensed counselor and certified coach um but again my goal is to bless the body of christ but uh, okay then i said she will all right click on the link i want to bless those who are joining coaching really quickly y'all i've been going for a while my mouth is dry <laughs> i need some water and some food <laughs> so really quickly guys um those who the Lord, some of you are already in coaching if you're not in coaching and you would like to i want to gift it to you for a dollar for nine days and uh, after nine days if you stick around uh, all well and good. Somebody else just joined the FBI. Uh oh, who just joined the FBI? Okay, Lorna just joined the FBI. Congratulations, Lorna. You just accessed gold. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, breakthrough coaching, new folks, click on the link real quick. Um, it's going to cost you only a dollar today. It's not going to charge you anything for nine days, anything else. And then in nine days, like I said, if you decide to invest in yourself after that, if you enjoy what we're doing there, um, then you get to, uh, you get to, um, uh, um, pay, a, like I said, a much discounted rate. Um, if you join tonight, you get access to 26 eBooks. I wrote those books personally. There are 26 breakthrough eBooks. Um, that's my gift to you for hanging with me all the way to the end of the broadcast. So for $1, you get to check out my coaching program for nine days. You get an account, uh, on my breakthrough center. Woohoo! Y'all give Lorna a shout out. Glory to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Congratulations, Lorna. That's awesome. These folks that are part of my breakthrough coaching, they know what they're getting in there. That's why they're jumping into the course. Hallelujah. So Dana, um, click on the link real quick. I want to bless you before I go. Anybody else? 26 ebooks for a dollar. <laughs> That's a giveaway. You're welcome. So uh, you get access to our whole library of 26 ebooks. Uh, you get access to all our previous broadcasts that we've done in the coaching now going almost uh, nine months of uh, live broadcast uh, coaching broadcast on zoom you get access to all the replays and then uh, next week in the coaching group i have a, a, a prophecy explosion i'm going to be ministering to everybody uh, in the group uh one-on-one -on -one. like there's going to be a zoom but i'm going to be ministering calling you by name they know those go on for a long time they're like two and a half hours long but everybody gets ministered to and so um who is it that who needs breakthrough that god is telling you hey you're saying, hey, I need breakthrough. Um, I, I need to go ahead and be a part of your breakthrough coaching family. If that's you, I want you to type out yes or type out it's me. I'm almost done. I know I've been going for a while. I'm waiting on Dana. I want to pray over her. Is there anybody else that God is telling you? Um, jump in. What are you going to be getting in breakthrough coaching? You're going to be getting so much. We do three live broadcasts um, a week. I do one coaching broadcast a week on Zoom, and then uh, my team and I, okay, me, okay, I'm going to wait on those who are signing up for Breakthrough Coaching really quickly, then I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to be done <laughs> for the night, hallelujah, done for the weekend, actually, I'm going to get some sleep after this, glory to God. So, Billy, click on the link, and I think Dana says she's going to click on the link as well, um, we're going to be, I'm going to be doing the Breakthrough Prophecy Explosion next week in the group, that's when I actually minister to you individually on Zoom, uh, everybody in my group. I do that once a month, glory to God. And uh, yeah, so when you join the group, you get three live broadcasts a week. You get interaction every day, pretty much from us. And uh, basically all I've learned in my over a decade of, of coaching and counseling um, um, people and uh, all I've learned from years of of uh, educational experience. I always clarify that was my instruction. God instructed me to get that educational experience um, just because of some of the content that I will be teaching on how to walk into breakthrough. And so I'm going to be giving you all of that. Like I said, it's just a dollar for you to check it out. And if you absolutely hate it, I'm teasing. Uh, nobody usually does. <laughs> Most people usually stick around. Um, but if you don't, if you decide not to stick around, somebody just joined Breakthrough Coaching. God bless you. Can we welcome Catherine? Catherine just joined Breakthrough Coaching. Welcome to our family. Catherine, just type out, I'm in. Welcome to the beginning of the best days of your life. That's what I always tell them. That's our mantra. Is that how you say that mantra? What? <laughs> mission <laughs> hallelujah glory to god catherine just joined let's just welcome catherine i think billy is joining and dana i want to pray over y'all real quick and uh, like i said you get tons of content in there and uh if you decide to not stick around after nine days we're not gonna like grab your leg and be like come here where are you going <laughs> we ain't gonna do that we're wild like that 
Catherine is in. <laughs> Let's welcome her. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, but, and, you know, usually people come in and they fall in love with the community and the family that we're building. We're, there's about 160 of us in there right now. And uh, the miracles happening are just mind blowing. They're amazing. And uh, the breakthrough is taking place. A lady, I won't call her name, but she's actually watching the broadcast. And her marriage was in a very bad place when she joined coaching. And now her husband prays over her in the morning like the marriage is back to what it used to be. And she lost a bunch of weight, over 100 pounds. I thought she joined Breakthrough Coaching, just learning the strategies of how to rebuild her self-esteem, of how to rebuild her marriage. Glory to God. Catherine is in. Welcome, Catherine. Hallelujah. To the beginning of the best days of your life. Bailey is in. Dana, Dana, let's welcome Dana. Breakthrough Coaching family, come on, y'all. I know we've been going for a while, but let's be friendly. <laughs> let's welcome let's welcome welcome Catherine welcome Dana hallelujah I want to bless them I think uh, Billy was also signing up welcome Dana just type out I'm in glory to God hallelujah I want to pray over these people who are jumping into breakthrough coaching tonight glory to God welcome welcome Alice I didn't know you were still watching love you Alice so much Alice is a part of our breakthrough coaching Love you. Welcome, welcome. Let's make her now, y'all. Please, those that are joining tonight, check your messenger. I'm gonna send you about five thousand messages because I'm so excited. No, it's not five thousand. It's four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. <laughs> I'm teasing. No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in your inbox because I want to welcome you personally into our family. Uh, check on the Facebook link. Um, if you have any questions at all, message my team help at agnesibetty.com. They are right there to answer you right away. Hallelujah. We're, we're here to write you right back. That's what my team says. We write you right back. <laughs> They're quick, right? Hallelujah. And so, uh, so yeah, so basically, um, check your messenger because I'm going to be sending you some links and telling you, I'll send you our group schedule, our daily schedule and things like that. And we're going to be having a party in the group right now for y'all. So those who are jumping on right now, go in the group. We have a very friendly group. And so you're going to feel right at home right away. We're going to be welcoming you into the family. We're going to be welcoming you to the beginning of the best days of your life. Best years, best decades. Glory to God. Yeah, y'all are going to enjoy it. I didn't pay Kelly to say that. She, she's a part of Breakthrough Coaching. She's been with... Kelly, how long have we been knowing each other now? I think since 2020. I just love you so much. Hallelujah. So I want to bless Dana. I want to bless um, Catherine. I want to bless all, all else that God is speaking to, all and sundry, whatever that means. <laughs> y'all, I'm tired, so I'm, I'm getting a little funny. I hope, I hope y'all think it's funny. Anyways, all right, let me pray and let y'all go. <laughs> So, Father, I thank you. Yes, Kelly, it's been a while. I thank you, Lord, for uh, uh, Dana. I thank you, Lord, for Catherine. Um, Dana, I just see you like you're just holding this key and you're opening this door. And I hear the Lord say that there is literally a treasure box in the realm of the spirit that as you begin this journey, that he is going to unlock to you. Um, I, I feel like you used to dream. I don't know if the enemy Dana started trying to attack you in your dreams and then it, you kind of shut it down. But I hear the Lord say he's going to begin to reawaken you in your dreams. Um, and I'm hearing the word Dana. And Andrea, God bless you. I'm hearing the word Dana uh, uh, restoration. It's like I'm seeing the father holding you. And as he's holding you, the pain of the past is leaving. And I hear the Spirit of God say that the pain of the past is living, leaving. And this is your moment of restoration. Catherine, I just speak over you. Um, Isaiah 22, 22. Um, mega open doors. T, do you know her? T is my fam. I love you, T. Hallelujah. I speak over you, Catherine. Isaiah 22, 22. Mega open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. All right. Let me bless everybody else. <laughs> Oh, somebody else just joined Breakthrough Coaching. Wait, James just joined. We're going to pray for James before we get done. <laughs> we got a lot of people joining. Praise God. We are a growing family. God is good. Hallelujah. So we're going to bless James right now. I'm going to wait on him to come back on the broadcast. We're going to bless him. Hallelujah. We declare joy for James. Bridget, if you're still watching, if you could just speak a blessing over James. Bridget is a part of our coaching family. 
She's raising up as a leader. <laughs> see how I just threw you right there, <laughs> Bridget? <laughs> Some ones of them, I can see leadership on there. So they're about to get to work. They just don't know it yet. Glory to God. <laughs> I'm building a whole prophetic team, but they don't know it yet. <laughs> Rachel, what's going on? Bless your heart, hun. You can watch the replay. All right, Bridget, speak a blessing over uh, James. Um, I'm going to wait. James, are you watching? I think James is probably trying to come back on the broadcast because he just signed up for breakthrough coaching. Glory to God. So I want to speak a blessing over James. Hallelujah. I want to speak a blessing over James. Ronda rabasan rebakaya. Le kondi rabasia labazundre beke. Billy James, there you are. Everybody just type out. Billy James, type out I'm in. Everybody type out welcome, Billy James. Andrea, I just released the healing presence of God over you right now. I love you, Rachel. All right. I want, I don't know if Bridget is still watching. I want her to speak a blessing. Or maybe she ran off when she heard me say leader. Glory to God. All right. Kelly, you can speak a blessing over her, honey. Kelly, speak a blessing over James. Hallelujah. And uh, I want to speak a blessing as well. But I just wanted some of the family involved. Um, James, please check your messenger because I'm going to be sending you some welcome messages. Hallelujah. Welcome to our family. Welcome to the beginning of the best days of your life. I bless all who are asking for prayer right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. James, I'm hearing the word joy for James. I'm hearing the word Lord say, um, weeping may endure for the night. But joy comes in the morning. So I just bless James that in the name of Jesus, even tonight marks the end of a season of, of a long, dark season in Jesus' name. And tonight is the ushering in of a brand new beginning in the powerful, powerful, powerful name of Jesus. Everybody now that needs prayer, I bless you. Is there anybody that is sick in your body? If you're sick in your body, try to do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters. I am healed. Hallelujah. I want to pray over those um, who are sick in their bodies right now. We're almost done. Just give me two more minutes. I want to pray. If you're sick in your body right now, some people are asking for healing. I'm going to give some word of knowledge. That's basically like Jesus calling your name. I see people's backs getting healed. I see people's necks getting healed. I see people's uh, 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 knees uh, getting healed. Somebody is wondering if they're going to have, a, have to have a knee replacement uh, surgical procedure. But I just declare right now in Jesus' name, not so. Right now, I just release the presence. Andrea, you begin to feel like the presence of God right here in the front of your head. And that's the presence of God touching you. Right now, if you're watching this broadcast and you're sick, um, I want to pray for you really quickly. Begin to, the, the presence of God is so sweet. Okay, back pain. Okay, try to just move your back, move your body. Okay, try to do something. Okay, the knees just got healed. Thank you, Lord. I just declare the healing presence empower God over everybody that is sick right now. I like for people to get healed before I pray so you know I'm not the healer God is. Right now in Jesus' mighty name, I just release the healing presence and healing power of God. I stand upon the authority of the word of God that by his stripes you were made whole. And I release the power of God. Billy James, I just declare that your nerves and your brain are healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. One more time, try to move your body and do something you could not do. Try to move your body and do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters. I am healed. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Who? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I know Denise just got healed. Oh, was it Denise that got healed just now? Hallelujah. I'm almost done, family. I know I've been going for a while, but I hope you all have been blessed. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Okay, Rebecca just got healed. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. If you are watching the broadcast and you all can keep getting healed, I'm almost done. Two minutes, guys, right now. If you're watching the broadcast, if you've watched up to this point and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you are not saved or if you are not, uh, if you are, thank you, Lord. Pearl, congratulations. That's awesome. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior or if you want to rededicate your life to God, I want you to type out salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, I want you to type out rededication. I'm going to pray with you right now. Jesus loves you so much. I want to tell you all, I struggled as a teenager with a lot of depression, suicidal thoughts, and Jesus encountered me, and my life has never remained the same. Literally, heaviness broke off of me. Depression broke off of me. Oppression broke off of me, and now I live a life of joy and peace. Glory to God. Jesus loves you so much. So if you're watching right now, you have not born again, or you're watching right now, you have not rededicated your life to God. I want you to type out salvation or I want you to type out rededication. Hallelujah. Denise, are you getting saved? Are you, get, are you, are you, are you rededicating your life to God? Hallelujah. I'm going to pray with you. That's you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation or rededication, anybody? And I want to pray over you really quickly before we end the broadcast. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Okay, Denise says she wants to rededicate her heart to the Lord. Anybody else? Anybody else? If I will begin to pray right now. Thank you. Can we celebrate Jesus for Denise? Denise, welcome back home. We love you so much. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you uh, for Denise. We thank you for this new beginning. Um, Denise, I just hear the Lord say he's even shutting the door to the trauma of the past. In the name of Jesus. And even right now, uh, I want you to just say this with me. Just say, Denise, just say, Jesus, I love you. Um, just say that I love you. I love you, Jesus. Um, come, come into my heart. I rededicate myself to you. Please forgive me of every sin. Please wash me in your blood and cleanse me of all unrighteousness by the power of your blood. I love you, Jesus. Be the, be the Lord over my life. Be the Lord over my heart. Be the love of my life. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I bless you all. Y'all give me a hands of emoji. Y'all did good. You stayed all the way to the end. God bless you. Hallelujah. And welcome once again to all our coaching family. Congratulations to all who signed up for the course. I cannot wait. It's going to be powerful. If you sign up for the course, please check your email. We have an email for you that gives you the Facebook group for the course. It's going to be on Zoom, but we're going to house it in the Facebook group so we can post the link on there. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just thank Jesus for what he did tonight. We, we discovered our identity. Let's thank him for what he did. Jesus, we're so grateful. Yeah, you feel the fresh, cool wind. That's awesome, Denise. Whoa. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, we praise you. We praise your holy name. We thank you, God, for all that you did tonight. We thank you, God. For all that you are doing tonight, we thank you, God, for all, Lord God, that you would do even after tonight. We thank you, God, for all, Father, that you released, God, even during the broadcast tonight. We're so grateful, even though there was a little technicality, but God, you helped us resolve it. We're so grateful for that. We thank you for it. We give you praise, God. We give you glory. We worship you, God. And we honor you for tonight in Jesus' name. Coaching family, look out on the coaching page. We're going to do Koinonia. You all know who that, what that is. We're going to be chatting in there about what God did. New folks into coaching, we're going to be doing a party in there for you. So please make sure and check your messenger. I want to get to know you. So I'm going to be sending you some messages and I need you all to respond. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a gangster. I'm just trying, I'm trying to sound like it. Because I, I have some people sign up and they're paying, not a lot, but every once in a while I have people that, they're paying us and they're not, they don't show up for the group. And I'm like, wait, did you not realize that you're, you know, anyway, it's not, it doesn't happen often, but I have a few people on my record, they just pay, they're not there. And so please find the group, okay? It's my gift to you. I want you to find it and be a part. All right? I love you all. God bless you. 
and uh, I will talk to you all soon. Have a blessed night. Love you, Michelle. Love you all. God bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you did tonight. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the rededication. Hallelujah. I love you, family, and I will talk to you all soon. For our media family, we'll be back here next week, Friday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For our coaching family, we're having a whole prophecy explosion Thursday night. So I'm going to see you all on Zoom. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.